last hour has been crazy. Can you see the sweat on you my gotta, head? You gotta figure out a new... Let, let's say, for example, somebody decides... You know how with Netflix and the WD Network, people binge watch episodes of series of TV shows and stuff? Right. Let's say somebody decides to go to our YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash WZR Archive. Hmm? And they decide to binge watch some Matt Boone and Ryan Clark. Okay. Every single show starts off with you saying, oh man, it's been so busy. You should start off with something different and then work to the busyness later, like 10 seconds into the intro, so that we don't have the same exact beginning of every show. Normally... Anyways, how you doing this week? I'm bro? doing good. How right. are you? You're I, drunk. I'm drunk. You're very drunk. <laughs> I've had a couple. Very drunk. Yeah. I uh, I had to run out. I had to do some errands. Uh, so I didn't get back here until, I don't know, quarter to seven, somewhere around there. And basically... At 7 o'clock Eastern Time, I have to put the chat room post up, and then at about 7.30, 7.45, uh-huh. we put up the live stream post where we, you know, we get everything up. But it's it takes about an hour. We like to get the chat room, let traffic flow into the chat for about an hour. So I've got to have all the news updated by 7 p.m. Eastern Time so that I can put the uh, chat room post, make that stay at the, uh, at the top post. So... I got back here at about quarter to seven, and all this stuff started breaking. Uh, not all this stuff, but two different stories. Uh, Vince Russo, number one, basically got caught uh, red-handed and uh, has been lying about being a consultant for, uh, for, for TNA. Uh, so he is uh, he's still, you know, he is working for TNA. We'll talk about that here in just a second. And then uh, CM Punk, I mean, the idea was, uh, well... Everybody was saying around July 17th was when CM Punk's contract expired. Today's July 15th, give or take a few days around July 17th. We didn't have the exact date confirmed, but um, July 17th was the uh, the rumored date for CM Punk's WWE contract. His profile has been moved to the alumni section of WWE.com, which is basically WWE's way of saying, okay, you are officially done. Um, so we put that, uh, yeah, we, uh, we put that up on the website, and, uh, <clears throat> CM Punk just issued a tweet, uh, I wasn't able to put it up before we came on here tonight, but, uh, a tweet came out, uh, where CM Punk basically said, thank you, uh, all the fans for, you know, all the support over the last couple of years, he said, uh, health and happiness over, you know, health and happiness over, uh, crazy workload and uh, don't take shit from anybody, which is basically, I quit WWE because they were giving me shit and they didn't right. want to, you know, so... I thought it was going to fart, but it, yeah. went, it went away. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, but, yeah, we, uh, so Punk posted that, and then what else? Right, Punk posted that, and then the Russo stuff, which we just talked about, so it, uh, it's <laughs> been... It's been a, a pretty crazy <clears throat> test. This is going to be a rough night with you, man. <laughs> it's going to be a rough night with you, you got to babysit for two hours. I'm only about two years de- <coughs> deep. This <coughs> motherfucker tells me before we came on here, I'm on number ten. No, what nine. You, you drink nine, nine and that's ten? No, this is nine still. So you're nine, ten beers deep. So this is I got ten be a and eleven sitting there show. before the commercial. Yeah. It's going to be a rough show for me when this guy... Is ten beers deep. It's, it's gonna be not, a good show this week. It's folks. not a fun time for me. Yeah. It for may him, be a for good you guys, time. yes. You get on my fucking nerves, man. That's well, funny. When you get tanked, you get on my fucking nerves, and you get on a lot of these people's nerves no, too. Not so tone down on the beers and let's do a fucking radio show, thirsty. television show. A little thirsty. You. I didn't nine, quench the thirst. After yet. nine beers, your thirst yes. has to have been quenched, quenched. by it's now. It's not man. quenched. Yeah. Well, slow it down. Slow it down a little bit. Oh, you're already making faces. I'm giving breaking news. And you're already over there giving What's faces. What's the breaking news? Mm-hmm. CM Punk posted a tweet. CM Anybody. Punk and Vince Russo for the third <laughs> fucking time. I, I made fun of this story before we went on the air. Vince Russo, a former WWE writer from 17 years ago, posted a blog. Russo's and CM Punk posted a tweet. That's the two breaking items. But uh, <clears throat> as I was going to say, I forgot what CM Punk, CM Punk is officially gone from WWE now, which we've known for a long time, but it's now official in WWE's own way. Vince Russo... Not taken. No. Vince Russo We has, need to come up with a code or something, like, like wink or like tap the table twice if no, twice if yes. Vince Russo has been Calls. saying for, for months and months now that I am not with TNA, you guys are all wrong, all your reports are wrong, where do you guys get this yeah. shit? It was he the got rumored caught. that he was, like, 
working, but like privately. Working behind the scenes as a consultant. Yes. Um, and, and he denied, 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 denied. They denied, denied, denied too, yeah. Right, right. And, and PNA as well. Well, uh, Russo just now came out and basically said... I wonder why he did that. Well, he got caught today. We put the article up on the you website earlier else? today. <clears throat> Let's screw him for now. Right. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna take guy a, dialing our number. We'll take a live phone Says calls here in just a little bit, guys. Wait until uh, until our numero dos. We'll give out the live phone number for you guys. But uh, Screw you, man. Vince Russo, I, I, I mean, it's basically <laughs> a case of... Uh, <laughs> basically a case of the guy's been lying and, and denying for, for months now. And, and then, you know, an email went out where Vince's name was CC'd in the email. And it involved, it involved editing for the New York City TV tapings. It involved editing, you know, what to edit, what not to edit. And if Vince wasn't a part of the company... Why would he be sending an email? To How did we find out that they stuff? got CC'd? We got it came. A leak it came of, to it to an email. Uh, it an, leaked it, out. It leaked okay. out. And I didn't uh, see that yet. I, I must be right. Wrong. And and somebody's name was CC'd to it. And uh, oh, you said it just happened. Right. It okay. happened earlier today. And uh, so Vince basically got caught. So he comes out and, and writes a blog just now and and said, you know, the deal between TNA and I was that I would be a consultant for their company, but. I wasn't to tell anybody that I was working for TNA, and TNA wasn't going to say anything. They were basically going to deny like they've been doing, yeah. and then they got caught red-handed with the email. So, yes. yeah, it's, uh, and, uh, oh, yeah, so, so Russo got caught uh, red-handed. But, anyways, so we're going to talk, uh, we'll talk more about Vince Russo. And He's got uh, Steiner in the chat, which you can log on to by going to wzronline.com slash chat. Dot com said, uh, Vince Russo can suck my nuts. That's a quote from Scott Steiner. You know what? You can say, I, I, listen, he, you, know what the problem, you know what the problem I have is, is internet, internet fans, they're all about the book. It. You Keep and I, warriors. you and I come on here yeah. every week and we sit there and we say, well, that sucked. This segment was bad. I'm blah, paid blah, to blah, tear blah, apart the booking editorial. We are, speaking. we are, yeah. absolutely. But the fact is, is that. If we were on the creative <laughs> team, and granted, it's not just us. There's eight, ten other guys that are kind of working together, and they all have to report to one man. Drunk Boone is trending worldwide, according yeah, to Andrew yeah, Arbuckle right. in the yeah, chat. Right. Yeah. Uh, but, but the fact is, you've got eight to ten guys, and they've all got to report to Vince McMahon. The deal is, week after week after week, you're booking a three-hour show, and then you're booking a two-hour show for SmackDown. You're booking a one-hour show for Main Event. You're booking a one-hour show for Superstars. That gets stressful, and in Vince Russo, I mean, the guys pulled a lot of swerves back in WCW. No, I mean, you're I mean, talking Vince about Russo, WWE TV, not TNA. Right, but Vince Russo had some great ideas back in the day for WCW. Not all of them for were WCW. Great. That's for uh, Vince Russo for WWE. Though, for WWE, no, WCW. He's only really known for the Arquette thing. It was and, Bischoff uh, and Russo, or for like Bischoff two and months. Russo yeah, that were and then, right. and yeah, no, he didn't know. Right. He's not known for anything for WWE. So WWE, was, the Attitude Era, a lot of people say Russo was a big part of that right. being what it was. He, right. he, he was this guy that was outside the box, wasn't one of the, it wasn't Jim Ross, it wasn't Jim Cornette, he wasn't Pat Patterson, he wasn't Bruce Prichard, he wasn't one of the guys that's been in the loop forever, that, that was a hardcore wrestling fan growing up their whole life. Right. He was a New York kid, young guy. Got hired to write the magazine after doing a wrestling radio show. Uh, Vincent, what is it? Uh, Vicious Vince's, Vicious Vince's Wrestling was the radio show, and then they hired right. him to do the magazine. Mm -hmm. And he did it under an alias. I forget the name, but uh, and then they hired him. Uh, Bill Watts got hired by WWE, and somehow convinced McMahon or whoever to uh, bring Russo into the writing meetings. Mm -hmm. And when Russo got in the writing meetings, he collided with people like Cornette, Rod, like the the uh, traditionalists. We'll right, 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 right. Because he was thinking outside the box. They call it the wrestling bubble. Everybody that's been entrenched in wrestling for so long mm. think wrestling only things can go a certain. Like bad guys do this, good guys do this. Right, that's right, it. right, right. Russo right. is the guy that came in and said, "Let's throw swerves, swerves in here and shock there. Shock right, TV. Right. Let's take." Let me some. say something. He he even said once in an interview uh, when him and Ed Ferraro was the other writer. Mm -hmm would sit in a room and they'd watch Springer. They said, you'd have to change the channel, but there was about a three-hour block if you changed channels where you could watch Jerry Springer for three straight hours. Right. And they would sit there and watch Springer and come up with ideas. Ideas for, based off that, right? And that right, was right. the Attitude Era. But anyways, right. yeah, that was really his, Let me ask you his something. 
main credential was he helped develop the Attitude Era, which revolutionized the business. You just brought up that when Russo, you know, he was clashing with other writers who had said... Pretty much everyone, yeah. You brought up Cornette. McMahon had his back. Everybody else thought he was a nut job. You brought up uh, Jim Cornette Supposedly. right there. You mentioned his name, Jim Cornette. Yeah, they hate each other. Okay, yeah. the exact Did you see the reasoning. thing about Wendy's? Right, and, and that's where I'm going to go okay, with okay. this. But the exact... Let me ask you something. <coughs> you, you would know more than I do. And do you know the backstory with Cornette and Wendy's? I, I I got a great story. All well, right, Cornette, Cornette and Wendy's, but but the the he, he almost the, beat the shit out of a drive through. The main once. It, this is what <laughs> I know. <laughs> they got that, on video that Jim Cornette blames Vince Russo in part for Owen Hart's death. Now, in addition to that, what is the beef between Cornette and Russo? A lot of people Very were simple. asking me. A lot of people were asking me on Facebook Very the simple. other day. What is the beef? Russo, just the way the same way you know, Cornette has two main enemies. Okay, Vince Russo and. Cornette? Uh, Paul it, Heyman. Paul Heyman, okay. They ruined wrestling. Okay. Heyman took it this way. Extre- uh, extreme. Well, Cornette's an old school booker. so He's very old school. Very okay. traditional is the word of the day. Like uh, like uh, Pee Wee Herman's Playhouse. That's our word of the okay. day. It's okay. Traditional. So Cornette's a traditionalist. Right. Russo came along and had all these outside the box ideas. Heyman had way outside the box. Actually, they both had way outside the box ideas. I mean, like Russo's doing all this... Putting matches with divas and, and and Heyman's doing barbed wire table. But you're, you're in the nineties. You're going into two thousand. You know what? You in guys, hindsight, it looks normal. But right. at the time, you gotta understand. You're coming from say your prayers, take your vitamins, right. brother. Perhaps all this out of the box weird shit. And that's all Cornette with the say your prayers, vitamin. Well, no, no, he didn't even really like that. He liked the NWA, which was the opposing say your prayers territories it was and, and wrestling. Right. Okay. Ric okay. Flair, the Andersons. Wrestling. So Russo and Heyman come in, and Cornette sees and this. And they change the business. He right. hates them for because he thinks they took the business the wrong way. Right. They fucked up something. Made that it he more loved. entertainment as well. Yeah, more entertainment right. than sport. That's right. Exactly what you should say. Right. And and he was so in love with the sport that he hated these guys that were making it enter- more entertainment. Than right. Sport. Right. Right. He thought the sport should be the focus. So that was the main beef. Okay. And then of course. The, with Cornette and Heyman, there's a whole story. I won't get into it, but he was basically brought into the ECW for a surprise appearance once. Mm-hmm. Promised to sh- uh, the Cornette's only terms was, "Don't even pay me. I don't even want money." Mm-hmm. Heyman, you need to shake the hand of Dennis Corluzzo, NWA promoter. Remember Shane Douglas had the EC or the NWA belt he won from Two Cold Scorpio, and he threw the belt down mm-hmm. and said, "They can all kiss my ass." Right, and right. he crowned himself the first ever ECW champ. That's on YouTube. He yeah, just, he famous fucking YouTube. thing. Very, very, very. Right. But uh, so Cornette said, "All right, I'll come and do a surprise spot for you in ECW, Paul Heyman." Back when he said we still up. Uh-huh. I don't want any money, but you need to shake Dennis Corluzzo's hand and apologize to him. And they all got into a limo. Paul Heyman brought him in a limo and. At Carluzzo, they shake his hand, snuck him in the arena, and afterwards, he was supposed to do something to Heyman with Carluzzo, but he didn't. Okay. Long story short, there's a lot of history with Cornette and Heyman. Mm-hmm. Equally, as much history with Cornette and Russo. Okay. So, he just doesn't like either one of those guys. Now, what's the Russo-Wendy story that you're The Russo-Wendy story is... No, it's Cornette uh, Wendy's. Okay. Well, bro, Cornette, 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 tell him what happened. Cornette, tell him what happened. We, Cornette, we need to explain Cornette, what happened with Wendy's. Cornette is known as a hothead. Okay. Remember the story in uh, with Santino and OVW where he smacked Santino yes. and got fired? Right, right, right. He's known as a hothead. He okay. loses like me. Of course, loses. everybody knows the Cornets. Yeah. Uh, just like me, I right. lose my temper real quick. Right. I don't have tolerance for bullshit. Slamming doors, this got to be yeah. slamming doors and shit. I, I don't have tolerance for bullshit. I, I, I don't like stupidity. It annoys me. He's the same way. Well, take a look at yourself in the mirror then. True story. But he he's the same way, and uh, so he slapped Santino and got fired. OVW, blah blah blah. But I don't think he's been back since. Oh, he um, hasn't. He really yeah, hasn't. But uh, prior to that, he had a famous thing, and they caught it on video. It's on YouTube. They go to the Wendy's drive thru, and I forget. Somehow the Wendy's people. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you remember when. Lo- was it you that was co hosting when I went to a Wendy's drive thru? Yes. Well, no, 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 no. It was great. It shit? was great. But I was on that okay. show. I did, the, I did an MMA segment every week. Right, right, right. I went to a time. Wendy's drive thru. I was and I you guys were talking about it. I didn't know what the fuck you were talking about. I was but I have found out since then. Yeah. And I said, I want Wendy's cheeseburgers. And you and, did the show on the road. And yeah. I got in the car and I went down to Wendy's. This is when we were a radio show. Right, right, right. And yeah, I, said not video. The, I said to the drive through lady, I said, hey, you're live on the radio right now. Did we're you? doing a radio That's show. Funny. Put her on the telephone. I never heard the segment, but I heard Put her on the it. telephone. I, I yeah, yeah. got the drive through lady on the telephone. But anyway, so they went to a drive through uh, Cornette. Andrew Arbuckle's right. Boone looks like he's gained 20 pounds or something. 
Yeah. I have. I've gained some weight. You are I gaining I drink weight. a lot of beer. Yeah. And I don't do a lot anymore. I just sit around and work. Cause I got I'll tell you what it is. Now. I'll tell you what it is. Yeah. And and you probably won't believe me on this. The Dude, cheese? Cheese is yeah, so it's fat. The beer more than the cheese. cheese. But the cheese don't help. Yeah. Cheese is the most fattening thing. We, You know how you guys go to the grocery store Big and blocks. you buy a brick of cheese, yeah. right? One of them bricks, you know? This motherfucker will go through an entire brick of cheese in an hour. No. That's exaggerating. I'll go through Dude, like you cut days. the whole brick up. No, no, no. I cut like usually like this much, but it's like this long. So it's like eight it's pieces so of cheese. It's so fattening, bro. The thing, the reason I do so it fattening. is because your fucking sister lives here with the kids and you can't... After about 8 p.m. every day, it's like I live with my mommy or something. If I go out of this room, I got to tiptoe in the dark and be quiet. So if I'm hungry, like a lot of days we'll do a show or we'll have a play-by-play... I won't be able to eat until like 11 o'clock at night, but by that point, it's pitch black out there, you have to be dead quiet, I'll, you can't turn the light on, you can't be loud, you can't like cook something in the microwave or the other whoever. so I just grab the cheese, I cut a couple slices, I go back to my room, and I do it in the dark, so I don't wake nobody up. Right, right, right. But, uh, yeah. Whoever said that in the chat room, I don't remember the name of, of who just said that. What did they say? But Boone will take that comment to heart. What did he, he say? He said you gained 20 pounds. Oh, no, 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 I won't take but, it to heart. Yes, you will. I, I don't know I gained weight. I know you gained weight. I have a scale that has proof. You yeah. know, you know that you've gained weight. <laughs> yeah. But you see a comment like that, and I guarantee you, no, in a week or two from now, you'll say even, like you there, buddy. even, no, even no, somebody no. in the chat room told me that I was gaining weight. You will bring it up in a couple of weeks from now because you're self-conscious. You're kind of like me. No, I am I'm more, so, no, I'm no, more no. self-conscious. But when somebody tells you, wow, Boone looks like I'll admit it for pounds. I'll admit it all day long. I'm damn near a metrosexual. I don't sexual. see it, but I live with you. You know a metrosexual? You know what that is? A metrosexual? They're very into their appearance. Okay. They like use a lot of gels and creams and stuff. You like. into your appearance? Yeah, I'm a look bit of a you. metrosexual. Look at you, you Not ugly. that I think I'm some good ugly, but I, I don't like to look like a piece of shit. Ugly ass motherfucker. So gaining a lot of weight is not good. Yeah, all right, yeah. all right. And I moved like right. I was a skinny piece of shit, so I want to be somewhere in the middle. I'm gaining some weight too. I could I eat and drink the same way I do now. All I gotta do, all I gotta do, all I gotta do is get up and and move around and work out a little bit. Anyways, uh, we got a gym across the street, but this fucking guy won't ever go. We got basketball. I have asked you to go to the pool twice. And once, and once again, I've asked you. I almost, I asked you almost every day last week. Do you want to go? You over said the that pool? the other day, and then I said when. It's and you broke it down. And, and there were there two was a times. thunderstorm out there the other day. You broke it down, and there were two times you asked me. One of the times it was a storm that we couldn't go. So you haven't asked me every day. I've asked you to play basketball. I asked you on your birthday. How many times I asked you to play basketball? Check my watch there. About eight hundred times, and you said, "Oh, let me finish eight hundred posts real quick, and then we'll go." And then like. 1.30 a.m., yeah, never mind. I asked him on his birthday to go to the pool. And I said yes. I asked him, and, and it rained. It yeah. Rained, it thunderstormed. I asked it the other day. We were going to go over the Once life. Once I had to say there. no because I had to work. But yeah, that's my whole point. If I get off my ass, I'm There's some go. hot chicks over there, too, bro. I got I to gotta tell you. Bang them in two seconds. Yeah, right. No. Yeah, right. Not with that big, f- your fat Probably ass. Not, no. Your fat ass. Probably not. <laughs> all right, here we go. Uh, so this is what we're gonna do tonight. We uh, we're gonna talk about all the latest news. Wait, you gotta numbers. address Winter's Lair's comment in the chat. We're we're very interactive, friendly. We love talking to you guys, taking your comments from the chat. Read I Winter's Lair. I do. I uh, do. He says, "Does Ryan wear his hat uh, when he goes in, in the pool?" In the pool. You I do really. I'll, I will take it off. You put like a string, like a like a no, mask. No, no, I'll get off. in there. I just don't go under the water. I don't dip my head in the water. But I'll. Are swim you around. a psycho? You really wear your hat in the pool? Of course, I swim around in the pool. I got my hat on, but I don't dip my head under. If I dip my head under the hat, the hat's gonna come Quick off. Quick story. My computer a couple weeks ago got a virus on it. Okay. This guy made a bet with all the fans out there. Right. If I can't fix Matt Boone's computer, I do the next show with my hat off. Right. We need to find another way. Another like a. Maybe our pay-per-view predictions. If, I'm, <laughs> no, 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 I'm if I win more, more if I win more than you at a uh, year's worth of shows, if I if my record's better than you after a full year, hat comes off full edition of WZO. Yeah, and then you know what? You know what? You want to talk about self-conscious issues before we move on? Last night I had to go to traffic court. Okay, I got a uh, a seatbelt ticket that I've been trying to take. <laughs> I've been trying to take care of. So I got the traffic court last night. Before I go. I had told Boone, normally what I do is I shave my head, and completely shave it, put the hat over the top of it, so you don't even know that I've got a shaved head. So why but shave your head if you're wearing a hat? I was going to shave my head, okay. and I've been wanting to do it for a long time, because it's hot, it's humid, this, that, and the other thing, yeah. and I told you that I had court, 
and I said, I want to go to court because I don't want to walk up before the judge with a completely bald head. And when you walk into a courtroom you take your hat off. in America, you got to take your hat off. So I wanted hair sure when I go. In any country. So last night, I took off my hat and I showed you and you said, wow. You said, you're balding. You're, you're starting oh, to be bald. about that. Yeah. You, had said, you had said, you'd be better off just shaving your head and nobody would know that you're balding. Why don't balding. you show the people? It's, I'm balding. You said I was balding. So you're self-conscious. No, I'm not. I'm, the, I'm balding. Yeah, here, lift your head down. Hold on. Let's on sure balding? on camera. I can't believe you just took your head off. On yeah, balding? there it is. It's balding right it's there, It's a 34-year-old right? man. How old are you? It's balding. How old are you, 34? I'll be 34 August 16th. He's almost 34 years old and he's very bald. You guys just saw proof. I can't I'm believe balding. you just took your head How many beers have you had? No, I've only had what three beers. The guy just took his hat off. I took my man. hat off but I didn't see my face with the, you know, you gotta do it that way. But I'm balding. And I can That's see gonna it. be all over your Facebook. And they're gonna crop that out. Oh, I'm sure they are. I'm sure they will. But I'm balding, if right? You think you can sing Yellow Submarine and they crop that out and you finally take your hat off and they're not or gonna I'm starting to bald shove that down your throat? I'm starting to bald under here. You know what I mean? He dude? thinks he's starting. starting. You wanna show again? It's thinning out. <laughs> it's thinning out. It's Big thinning. old fucking Artie Lang hole in the top of your head. Teresa. Bro. See that? Huh? Teresa got read, a crush on you. Read Teresa. You could bang Teresa if you ever met her. Teresa. Yeah. Yeah. She I don't know what she looks friend. like, but she likes. She's she always on Facebook page. She's, yeah, she is. She always farts with you on here. I think she. You know what? Now Teresa I do remember what Baker. she looks like. I Baker? remember what she looks like. Is her last name Baker? Yes. I is think. That? I think so. She's not hot, but she ain't bad. No, she's a good looking she, chick. She's like a. Cute I think girl. I know. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. Think I know who she is. You would enjoy on, that on Facebook. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> God. Usually people put their best picture on their profile image. She's a good and then they I look have like, any women on uh, You on know how you grade a guy? I've only got a couple girls that are on my Facebook. You know how you grade a guy or a girl 1 to 10 yeah. on a look scale? Anybody? Who would you grade yourself on the man scale? 6. A 6? Maybe okay. 7. But All anyways, right. if, if you look at their profile picture, I'm yeah. not even a 6. You just rolled your eyes at a 6. It's like halfway. I'll give you a... I'm not gay, but I'd, I'd keep you... I mean, you're an alright looking... Let me hear it. You're not right looking, dude. You're all not. Right, let me hear it. What do you want to hear? What's your number? Oh, you want me to rate you? I thought you? you said I'll give you. A, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna rate you. You bro. said I'll, I'll give you. A, I'll give you. A, all right, give me a number. Teresa will rate you. I'm not gonna. Rate all right, let you. Teresa I don't rate you. I'll but anyway, a six. I would like you. Yeah, I'll take a six. Profile picture. People put their absolute best face forward on a profile picture. Have you ever noticed? This happened to me once. I won't say the name. Remember that girl? Jesus. Yo, I'll All tell right. you what. So I went to Florida. I moved. I lived here three times. I moved back to Florida one. The first time I came back when we lived in East Greenbush. Yeah. I come back here to live here because I was broke. Every time I'm broke, I come live with Ryan because he's rich. All right. And uh, so the second time I lived with Ryan, I had hooked. I had known this girl the first time I was in New York. Named we'll call her Michelle Padley. <laughs> <laughs> We call her Michelle Padley, and I was like, "Damn, this girl's hot as shit." But she was dating my friend Rob. Damn. Rest in peace, my old roommate. So when I come back, before I come back, I'm talking and flirting with this girl, Michelle Padley, on Facebook, back and forth, back and forth. So it's all set up. When I get back to New York, I got guaranteed pussy waiting for me. I get here, she comes over to our apartment. And East Greenbush, as soon as I opened the door, I fucking damn near shit myself. She had to be 210 pounds. Michelle Padley was. And so I pretended to be very friendly and, and friendliness with her for about an hour or two. But very, very obviously made it clear that, oh, Jesus Christ, we're just friends. And then when she left, I was very sad. But, uh, yeah, I don't know where that started. But that basically... <coughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, no, no, that was it. She put up on her Facebook profile page, she still looked hot as shit. So I'm thinking in Florida when I'm getting ready to fly up to New York in a couple days, yo, I'm going to be banging this bitch by this weekend. Holy shit. And I get in New York, she opens the door, she didn't look fucking one-tenth of what her profile picture on Facebook looked like. And every girl, you notice, is like that. They put the best possible profile picture on. And you know when you can find out... And they don't look nothing like that. You know when you can find out, right? It's when another friend... Tags them in the post, right? Yeah, and when they get tagged, when they retag. Or they the untag it they, they untag them real quick. Yeah, you're they picking don't up the scene. Got you. Yeah, right. They said, "Why would you put that photo up of me?" This that. Teresa, did you bang her or not? No, I did not. No. Oh, uh, uh, Michelle Padley. Michelle Padley. Yeah. <laughs> 
Alright, I plugged go. this on my personal Facebook too. Move Michelle up. could be watching. Oh man. All right, oh, I would gotta, feel bad. Oh, that'd be terrible. <clears throat> terrible. You're never bad. Because I'm friends with her brother. Alright, listen. We need to get the plug. <laughs> we need to get the <laughs> We'll call him Haynes Padley. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get the plugs out of the way. Then we'll move on. <laughs> this we're gonna, for you. We're gonna talk uh, Monday Night Raw from last night. <laughs> we need to get into to Raw. Um, Crazy but lovable ass. Did you get sucked? Holy Christ! <laughs> Is she graphic? No, I didn't. We're also gonna uh, we're also gonna talk the uh, talk that. more about uh, Vince Russo and uh, and CM Punk. You know, officially gone from WWE. Um, Packed Raw Battleground this Sunday. We're a real busy week as well, man, with uh, news and rumors. So we'll get into all that. Uh, live chat room on and in progress right now. WZROnline.com slash chat. WZROnline.com slash chat. <laughs> Get in there, lots and lots of people, as always, tonight. The official website of WZR TV Tuesdays, WZROnline.com. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube as well. Go to Facebook.com slash WZR Army, YouTube.com slash WZR Archive, and we're on Twitter as well. Just go to WZROnline.com, top navigation bar, social media tab, drop down menu. It's got all the links to Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, WZROnline.com, the official home of WZR TV. Tuesdays. All right. So, Monday Night Raw from last night, man. What's the thing, top to bottom? Loaded show. I thought it was pretty good. Oh shit. Oh uh, yeah, loaded show. Yeah, uh, Raw report. Pretty good. It was the go home show for Battleground this Sunday. They wrapped most storylines up, and uh, they really. It was pretty much the uh, please buy our fucking WWE Network show. Oh That's what God. it seemed like. How me. many network? I would say listen. twelve. Over three hours at least. They are worried sick about the. Well, they got to reveal the numbers because they promised to their. They're a publicly traded company. They promised to their investors right that ever at every quarterly conference call they're gonna give the official subscription (coughs) account to the WWE Network, and because they set up that network, uh, they're expected to lose uh, basically about fifty million dollars in losses this year. Right. Now, they tried to offset it with a new television revenue deal, but they didn't get what they expected to. They lost a lot of uh, stock. Like, the stock dropped like a motherfucker. A lot of people bailed and sold their stock. But, um, um, basically, the, they've been the, trying all these hot shot in ways. Like, oh, we'll give you free fucking replica belts and fucking this and that if you sign up, please. I think the idea here is they know. I mean, you can clearly see, just by watching Raw, that... And, and during every match, when they come back from commercial breaks, it's all about the network, 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 network. And here's the thing: last night they were saying well, even the pay per view plugs. You know what, they didn't ever said pay per view once. They said a, watch Battleground this Sunday on the network. Here's the problem I have: Cena started the show begging people, just blatantly, wasn't even tied you know to the storyline or nothing. He was just like, guys, you got to buy the network. Not only that, but First Cena says Cena says he comes out and he basically says, please buy at, the network at Battleground this Sunday. Yeah. I may lose the WWE yeah, title. Basically, and if you don't yeah. have the network basically saying that yeah, you're champion. There's going to be a I, title change this Sunday and if I you don't spend your money you're going to miss it. There's not going to be a title change. Yeah, no. I mean, but that's what he was title. saying. Right. But any, but and, and then there was a, a, a another case of you know late, later in the show I mean it, we'll want it down top to bottom but the idea here is, I think they are worried sick about the network numbers. I mean, we just started the third quarter. Basically, you got four quarters in the year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Four quarters. So, the second quarter just ended. The start of July, you know, July is the start of the third quarter. We got so at the end of, until the conference call, At the right? end of July, they're going to reveal the earnings for their second quarter. Mm-hmm. At that conference call, they're going to have to reveal the numbers for the WWE Network. I don't think, I mean, the Give initial... Me the initial number was 660,000, somewhere 667,000. Okay, so when they report prediction. the earnings... Um, and you're gonna think I'm crazy. You want mine first? Think, you're you want mine first? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say seven hundred and ten thousand. Well, you're even let. Okay, then I think you're crazy. Yeah, I was gonna say about seven twenty-five, seven thirty. I think they only got about fifty thousand new subscribers. Yeah, about fifty, sixty thousand new subscribers. Fifty, Tops. sixty thousand. And I think they want you know eight hundred, nine hundred. Not they want. They need a million by the end of the year. 
and they've got nothing left to hook people. I think they've no really WrestleMania got until next year. There's no big all I think, the sign up for this. I think people are going to be shocked when the number comes out. I think it's going to be seven ten, seven twenty, somewhere the around range. there, right? It's going to be low then, sevens. Keep in mind. Keep in mind that they expire and they got to resign. That but these, that's not this number we're going to get. Right, right, right. But these subscriptions after this next conference call, it's the third conference call. Uh, the third quarter conference call. These subscriptions are going to expire. It's the third quarter conference call. Yeah. These no, no. The one coming up is the second. Second. When we get to the when third in four third. months, that's when we know. Like I think. I how think, is this okay, thing doing this year? Let's say for the hell of it, we're at seven hundred and fifty thousand. Okay. Let's say you know when they report. Yes. Let's say they're at seven hundred and fifty thousand. A lot of those people, because everybody signed up for the initial launch and everybody signed for up for WrestleMania. Ten dollars right, for WrestleMania. The initial launch in WrestleMania. I think going into the third quarter, they may come back at us and say, we're, "It'll be lower. We're at seven hundred thousand or six hundred and eighty thousand. I we're wouldn't be surprised if it was six thirty or something less. Something than crazy. Where I a wouldn't lot of be those, surprised one bit. A if lot in of four those, months, not right. two weeks from now. No, no, no. Two weeks from I now, know. I'm predicting seven twenty-five, seven thirty. Right there with you. Three, four months, four months from now. Right. I predict six fifty. They've done nothing to entice people. They postponed tough enough. The filming at tough enough. They they. That's what they don't understand. They I think they think those library, the library, the library, the old shit. Draw, they're not. No, draw. people don't want to pay money to see you something need, they've already seen. They want exclusive original, original content. content. You are, you need Bingo. reality shows. You need Legends House. You, you need, need more countdown, countdown you more need, Monday Night Wars, more uh, wrestling. So I think, I think more the idea Legends here is the idea here is is. You're losing and a lot of money. Views, You're losing That's a lot of money law. on the network. Okay? You're losing a lot of money. All of a sudden, in the last couple of months, month or two, Vince McMahon says, I want twenty million dollars in budget cuts. You know why he does that? You know why he does that? Because the network's losing it. money. Yeah. So he tries to offset it so that he can go into the conference call in July, coming up in a couple of weeks. He says, Well, yeah, we even projected though, forty-eight million dollars. Well, we minute. only lost twenty-eight. Right. He says, even though he says even though, he says, even though the network is losing all this money, we've cut ten million dollars so far, and we plan on cutting twenty million dollars. So it offsets exactly. Well, that, was, that was my point: is that he and that, they're a public company, so their numbers are above board. For the most part, right. So when they projected, when they started the network, they they weren't dishonest, not completely. Uh, for the most part, they were honest, and they said we're going to lose about roughly fifty million. I think it was forty three to fifty two, some crazy number. Fifty million dollars is basically what they said we're going to lose starting the network up. They got to staff it, they got to promote it, they got to uh, digitize the content that they have in their library. They got to do all these things, and it's going to cost them about fifty million dollars this year. Right. But if they get a million subscribers by the end of the year, next year will be their most profitable year ever, blah, 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 with the television rights renewal, etc. What's happening is they didn't get anywhere near what they thought they were going to get because right. they bought, they, 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 uh, what do you call it, when you put it all in? They went all, they went all in and they, they said, yo, in. WrestleMania, pay-per-views, everything, $10. Instead of, like we said, every pay-per-view except WrestleMania and $15. That one slight change which doesn't seem that drastic really if right. I'm a consumer and I'm told yo I can spend ten dollars a month for a six month commitment but get Battleground No Way Out Royal Rumble SummerSlam all these pay-per-views for ten dollars a piece each month and Countdown and Legends House and all this shit in the old library uh, you know I'm buying it fifteen bucks a month that's a steal it's instead of forty five for each pay-per-view and, and all this original content no, they said WrestleMania, every pay per view, all these content, and ten dollars instead of fifteen. Ten dollars. They fucked up. They fucked so now up. you can't go back. What are you going to say? All right, well, you can't raise it by five dollars a month. You not can't not right out of the gate. Yeah, slowly, you gradually, you can. The dollar here. Do you dollar think? There, you do know. you think that twenty million dollars in cuts would have happened if the network was successful? What that that they had a million subscribers? These cuts would have never happened. The problem is, some of the cuts would have happened. You would have had the releases and everything else, but. Most of Maybe. these cuts, well, uh, they're talking about getting rid of, not getting rid of, but catering, okay? Catering at house shows. No more catering at house shows. They'll be catering at the television tapings, yeah. but not at house shows. And a lot of production, yeah. no more Fandango, big sign with the lights and the pyro, pyro, pyro cutting else. down here right. and there. So much they're cutting down and, and they've, they've fired writers, they fired the main executive. Connected to the WWE Network, the production they crew, the writer, connect the uh, executive, the, uh, some talent, production an announcer, crew. Josh Matthews. I mean, they're cutting every department 
production crew that used to take buses and, and things like that. Yeah, those are Cutting gone. back on that. Yeah, and they're travel. cutting back on so much stuff to offset how bad the network is doing. So we're going to be uh, taking your live phone calls here in our numero dos. But there's so much, you know, and not only that, but everybody says, well, they're going to launch overseas. They're going to be in the United Kingdom. They're going to be in Canada. Listen, man, that that... If the United States drew six hundred sixty thousand, I'm saying Canada, the United Kingdom, they be able, they may be able to match what the United States no. has altogether. No, altogether. You know why? If you're a diehard fan, which is sixty percent, seventy five percent of the people that that want something like the Network, if you're a real diehard fan and you really want it, right? Overseas people can already get it. Yeah. That's a. True. That's true. B. Did you know that much like much like our illegal stream? That we watch pay per views on, we share the password with our friends and stuff, and they can just log in. Oh, that's right. You could just give somebody your network password, and they can log in and just view it. Do you know? And that, that sounds like a small thing, but are you dumb? <laughs> Put it this way: me and you, we both cover WWE for a living, so we both have to buy the network. Guess what? One of us bought it. We both have the same password. That's half the profits right there in this household. How many households across the here's, country here's the deal. and across the globe do you think is the same thing? You can have if you've got a network account. Basically, what Boone's saying, if I you've just got a, what I was if you've got a network account, right? You've got a username and a password. You can you can send that username and password to ten, fifteen, yeah. twenty it's of your unique. friends. Okay, yeah. they can use the same username and password. As you're using, so you guys can all share the same account. So, like Boone said, there are a lot of households where you know, hey, use my account, and that's taking ten dollars each person that it's does taking that. A subscriber, yeah, you're that's looking taking at, a subscriber away. You could say damn near dollars. half the amount of subscribers that are really signed up. You could say you could damn near double of the number course. because how Boone. many people that have that are wrestling fans have friends and say, who, yo, here, here's my password. Who doesn't give out their username everybody and password? Everybody does. Netflix, Netflix everybody course. does it. I've got somebody else's Netflix password right now. I've got somebody else's password to a radio show. We but the deal with Netflix day. is Netflix only allows two people, I think. It's two people for They Netflix. say that? No. No? No. There's got to be. Me and UFC, to share a, UFC has it locked down. UFC is locked down. UFC is locked somebody down. Somebody gave me their password to the fight pass, right. I didn't log on. It's because your IP, it's IP based. Yes. If UFC can do it, it, UFC's got to be able to do it, it and not only done. that, but the MLB Network. Uh, somebody said the other day That's the MLB the Network WWE. is the same as WWE, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and WWE works with the N MLB, and MLB Network. has like four million subscribers. Or something. Well, they work together though. MLB, They're the guys running the, the tech. MLB and yeah. WWE work together. So if MLB.com doesn't have it figured out, WWE.com doesn't have it figured it out for for the network. Yeah. UFC's got it figured it out. Where not figured out. Figured it out. Yeah, it's not figured that hard. Right, where you got one IP, one username, one password, you get your IP, that computer it's can almost, log in. That it's almost computer. laughable. We've had websites for 15 years. Right. And every once in a while, whether we did it or some of our colleagues, our friends, our peers did it that own other websites, they had a premium section, they call it, mm -hmm. of the website. And they've made it to where only one person can log one in. You can't share can that password. In. Right. On our level, and we're down here, you're talking about a fucking international multi-billion dollar company that yeah, hasn't people. fucking made sure... That should be priority number one. Make sure if someone signs up, they can't just give their login to someone and they can just sign right in. That you're should have been the first people. fucking thing they you're worked on. You're letting people use usernames and passwords. You're taking so many subscriptions. Well, we got a lot of calls. Go ahead, take them. All right, it's All too right. late. Um, but anyway, we'll start taking live phone calls now if you guys want to call up. We're we going to get into Raw. Monday Night Raw. I know. we got 15 minutes. So John Cena comes out to uh, to open Monday Night Raw, right? Plugs the network, and then he gets into uh, Plugs the network, plugs yeah. Battleground, this, that, and the other thing. <laughs> and uh, they announced the main event for tonight. It's going to be a six-man tag team match. That main event was planned since last week, I we, think. About we, Friday. We Thursday or Friday. Friday right, we right, right. it, yeah. Um, Anyways, so Roman Reigns comes out. Roman Reigns comes out. What do you think of uh, Reigns on the microphone? It was. They kept it brief, right? Right. and they get and to the point, John. They had him say stuff like that that's guaranteed to get a reaction. Here's the problem: Roman Reigns or, or John Cena says to Roman Reigns, "Let's see, you know, if you really think you're as good as you are." And then Roman Reigns comes back at John Cena and says, "Let's see if you think you're as good yeah. as you are." John Cena's won the title 15 times, bro. What, He's what the champion, champion right, right now. You know what I mean, yeah. Uh, Carlo, you're live on WZR TV. What's going on? You gotta speak up, bro. I don't think he's speaking at all. Yeah, we're good. Anyways, um, 
This so, leads to a. Uh, they yeah, argue. No, their brains and Cena argue back and forth about the battleground. Uh, Dean Ambrose pops up on the on the Titan Tron and says, "You guys need to quit arguing. And we need to just worry about kicking all three of their heads. We got a the Operation BS. Screw the Authority. Cut the this BS Sunday. We're gonna exactly. fuck them all up. Out of nowhere, Kane, Orton, and Seth Rollins beat up on Ambrose backstage. Here's the problem. It goes on forever. What were Reigns and Cena? That was what was going through my head too. Doing in the ring. Why aren't Reigns and Cena running, running to the back yeah. to save Ambrose? Their partner." And I expected them to show up eventually, too. right? When, it, when the first beatdown, when the beatdown first happened, I thought it'll be quick and they'll get out of there. And then right. Cena and Reigns will run and it'll be too late. Too late, right? But when it kept going and going, I'm like, all right, well, eventually they're going to come into the scene. We back. haven't even shot back to the ring to see what they're doing, so we don't even right, know if they're. Right. Even, do we even know if they're in the ring or not? We don't know. So I'm assuming they're going to end it. No, it goes on for about. There was, and I'm saying a legit there was, there was save. three and a half minutes. That beat right. that one on. Ending right. with the curb stomp on I the, did like the spot where Ambrose said, is that all you got? That's it. I did, but I didn't. I did because it was different, but I didn't because it was like, he's just got the shit beat out of him. And, he, right. and he's still able right. to talk like he's fine. You know. All right, we'll try one more time. Caller, you're live on WCR TV. What's up? What's up, man? What's going on, bro? I just wanted to get y'all thoughts on possibly retiring the world title. Uh, the world title? Yeah, we'll talk about that here in just a second, bro. Thanks we, for the uh, call. We That's a good rough. question. Yeah, that, we'll get to that at the, end, at the end of the show. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that anyways, they leave Ambrose Lang, and they walk off uh, curb stomp. So he's pretty much, like, when we, as soon as we, they go to commercial, as soon as we come back from the commercial, Michael Cole and the announcers say, you know, he's been transported to a nearby hospital. Right. Probably right. won't be able to, to work the main event tonight. Right. We had uh, the Miz and Sheamus. Uh, they are in a feud right now. They're gonna do, our, or they already did the uh, the main event uh, tonight on main event on yeah, the WWE rematch. Network. Yeah. The rematch from uh, from Raw. That feud is gonna continue for uh, the next couple of weeks. Put That's it up on the program? website. Oh god. Put it up on the website today. Hey, listen. This is whole thing now is he's a movie star. They hey. have the money maker his face. They put the fucking picture of his face That's up on the Tyler Tyler Breeze's gimmick. Even Tyler Breeze in uh, well, Tyler, Tyler Breeze's gimmick is he's a pretty boy. Pretty boy. That's yeah, true. yeah. That's true. Same. Um, Basis though. But listen, uh, so Miz came out, like you said, they put the uh, put his face on the. Uh, yeah, he said, I'm gonna leave the money maker up here the whole time I fight. Right. So we had that. Um, it was a good match between those two. Right. Right. It, was, yeah. it was pretty good. Um, we had Seth Rollins, Kane, uh, Randy Orton backstage. Yeah, right. Basically talking about trust and like Kane and Orton were arguing about whether they can trust each other and blah blah blah. That was pretty much it. Right. Well, Triple H walked in, didn't he? I think Triple H walked in and basically said that. Yeah, he you just know, basically said we need to get the title back to the authority. And authority needs yeah. to. That's all that matters. Dolph Ziggler against Fandango. This was that ended with Summer Rae and Layla. The music of Fandango hit in the middle of the match as Fandango was winning, and the music hit. Summer and Layla dance on the announce table. They distract Fandango, and Ziggler gets the win. So. Go ahead, take and then it. they kiss them afterwards. All right, caller, you live on WCR TV. What's up? Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Andrew Arbuckle up in the chat. What's crack a lagging, brother? Hey now, well, uh, I've got a question for you. Yes, I'm sir. Wondering, uh, who do you think has the better curb stomp? Edward Norton from American History X? Edward uh, Norton. I think of that uh, every time I Edward that Norton. Norton. Dude, dude. You don't even watch movies. You see American History X? <laughs> I have seen. There's only. I've Put seen your it. mouth on the curb, Edward! <laughs> the end, Bam! The Stop end of face. American History X, where I think they're in the bathroom, no, I was right? I about the middle. No, you're talking about the. I'm talking about the very end. You're talking about the curb stomp. The, uh, he's talking about the curb okay, stomp. Good. I'm, I'm talking about the, the end of the movie where they're, I think they're in the bathroom, bathroom yeah. and they, they shoot him. Oh, my God. It was crazy. That's the, that's the little brother. He's talking right. about the tough guy that goes to jail. I know he's jail. talking about. Wait, it's in the middle of the movie with yeah, the curb stomp. It's a flashback. Right. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm making that a point. That has nothing to do with the curb stomp. I know, but I've watched American History X. You're telling us you know the movie. The end of gotcha. American History X okay. is the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life. You don't life. see it coming. It's fucking well, you haven't seen a lot of movies because there's right. a lot more. I haven't. I just said I've only seen There's a lot bigger movies. surprises in film history than the kid getting shot. So I would, I would say Edward Norton over uh, Seth Rollins, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, maybe Seth Rollins will get there. You know, maybe he'll go up against uh, the right opponent. I didn't hear it. Yeah, no. Can you say it again? Maybe Seth Rollins will get up to the legendary status that Edward, Edward Norton has achieved, you know? Yeah, maybe. I'm surprised that they're, on a PG show, they're talking about curb stomps, right? Yeah, yeah. and it's very violent and this right? and that. Uh, thanks for the call. And, and also, 
I don't know if it's... No, it's not yet. Oh, this is where we go to the Damien Sandow, Adam Rose. Thing. Real quick, though, the PG oh, stuff. God. Stephanie and Triple H made out like their plane was going I down. I know, right? Like their airplane was going down, and they're about to die. Let's get one last fucking hot make-out session. Like, it, it was insane. I'm like, this is PG? I'm thinking Boone in here, Mark for Stephanie McMahon. He's probably fucking hard I don't want to see her kissing some fucking dude. Anyways, we had, uh, let's see. We'll take one more phone call, and then we'll move on. Call you live on WCR TV. What's going on? Hey, oh, you there. Three, two, one. Buh! Buh! All right, we had... Uh, they need to stand down with Adam Rose backstage. Oh, my God. Big commercial song. for Sonic product placement. Uh, Jesus, who do you think was the main sponsor of Raw last night? Sonic. Sonic? Oh, yeah. Think, man? On the road. Uh, this thing was stupid. You had uh, Rosita, former TNA knockout, was there. Um, Tia Trinidad or something, right? Yeah. Looks right. like Trish Stratus. Re- looks like... Identical to Trish Well, like a, right? like a Mexican one, or a Spanish one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We had uh, Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. Uh, they blindsided the Usos. The original plan here was for the Usos to face um, Titus O'Neil and Heath Slater. I That's know it's a kind, of a, kind of an odd uh, tag team, but the original plan going into Raw last night, there must have been some late creative uh, changes, but it was Luke Harper and Eric Rowan against... Um, the Usos. The Usos came out. It was the Usos against the team of Titus O'Neil and he's Slater. You said, but uh, anyways, the Usos were making their entrance after that backstage segment with the Sonic and sitting down Adam Rose and all that. And uh, out of nowhere, uh, Harper and Rowan blindsided Usos during their entrance, beat them down, left them laying, and that was pretty much it. That was it for that yeah. man. We had uh, Jack Swagger and Rusev. They made that well, official. It was, it was more of a, a Zeb Coulter uh, Lena debate. debate, and debate. it resulted in the, the Swagger Rusev. You know what the funny thing here is? Zeb Coulter is talking about. I mean, Zeb Coulter used to. I mean, it's kind of a weird babyface turn where Zeb Coulter's talking about President Obama and whether we like him or don't <laughs> like him, we respect him. He's right? our president. Because he's the yeah. president of the United States, so we've got to respect him. Blah, 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 blah. Um, and it was just weird the way that it they... It wasn't really weird in the sense. I mean, like, the whole the time... The crowd booed, though. I mean, the crowd booed them. Obama, and you're trying to get... I don't know what you heard. They loudly cheered everything Coulter said. Are you serious? Yeah. When he said President Obama... They cheered. Half of the crowd was booing in the... We watch it. Check the chat room. We'll play it. You know what? I'll load it up during the commercial. Load the chat room. I'll play it during the uh, second hour, and we'll hear it ourselves. We can do that. Check out but on YouTube. Dude, when he mentioned President Obama, it's the, dude, any time... I don't remember him getting booed at all during his whole rant. Can you check the chat real quick? Sure. When he said... When he was referring to President Obama, did the crowd not... Half of them cheered and the other half... Winner's Lair heard booing booze, the shit? And I trust Winner's Lair. There were a lot of boos, dude. I just... But that's not the point. The point is, right. you said it's weird that they turned babyface. No... If you're very they, pro-American and you go up against a very anti-American group, obviously the fans in America are going to cheer for you. Right. So he was fucking rapidly cheered for every word that came out of his mouth. Maybe they booed Except when Barack... Except when he mentioned okay, President Obama. Is that relevant to the storyline? No. You know well, what he I mean? was like, talking about President Obama for like two seconds right. of his whole thing, yeah. All right, no doubt. But either no way, doubt. They, I, I don't see you. it's weird that they cheered him. It's very... If you're in a writing room and you're like, yo, we're going to have our... We the people, real Americans, right? Go up against these people that say America sucks. Obviously, they're gonna get of cheered. Of course, man. So of it course. wasn't You're weird right. to You're me. Right. But what's weird is that on the house shows they've been having Rusev squash swagger in like 10, 20 seconds. Yeah, yeah. They can't do that because just, he's too over to beat him that quick. Now Rusev can't sell that much this Sunday because Swagger's not a big name. He shouldn't be selling for a guy like that. But you can't just kill him in 10 seconds either because he got way over more so than they expected. It just seemed to me like, okay, the American people, you want to bring up the American people, this, that, and the other thing, you're going to get loud cheers. But as soon as he brought up President Obama, and he went on with it for a little bit, and the crowd, when in they my showed opinion, Obama on the tron, they fucking popped huge. Go watch it, says Rygo. All right, but there's a lot of other people in there that I are saw one. That was there. Scroll up, I man. I will gladly scroll, scroll up. Scroll up. You there's a lot. Read of each people. comment that you see that they. Ah, uh, uh, quite a few boos. Go back up. Quite a few boos. There was some boos. I heard boos. Uh, boo. Boo. Quite a few boos. Quite All right. Boos. Guess, Guess what? what? You're right. I'm wrong. 
Uh, the rye guy I trust, and he says they popped. The, well, you're right. They popped when he initially when when you had Obama versus Putin on screen. They yeah. popped for Obama. But then Coulter went on and on and on about President Obama, and the crowd was like, "All right, enough, enough, Here we go. enough." Andrew, Obama. Andrew Arbuckle says Rygal right was wrong. At least fifty percent booze. Winner Slayer said, Bye "Yeah, folks. on the Tron cheers." And then Zeb Obama. That's what I'm saying. Zeb said Obama, and they booed. It yeah. was a mixed reaction. John Morgan. Morgan says mixed. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. So, anyways, let's uh, let's get back into it. WZROnline.com slash chat. Get in. WZROnline.com. Motherfucking deck. Slash chat. Uh, let's get back to uh, Monday From night. There Raw we went to. Uh, they announced Florida hosting Raw next week. What do you think of that, man? I don't care. They're in Miami next week for Raw. Oh, yeah, and they went to WrestleMania in Florida. Did that? In, Do you know yeah. that you broke the news to me months ago when he was at WrestleMania, or was it not this past year, the year before? The year before. You broke the news. Uh, I never knew that Flo Rida Oh my God! Spelled Stood for Florida. Spelled Florida. <laughs> That's right. And you ripped me apart. And I don't know why. Why I'm and you didn't know what John Cena's five knuckle shuffle meant either. You're behind the times, there, kid. Flo Rida spells Florida. I never knew until you said something well, to me. I was living in here. Florida at the time, so he was a bit, he was all over right, the radio. Right, right, right. I never radio. knew that Flo Rida spelled Florida. Well, yeah, on the radio they'd be like Florida's own Flo Rida here in. Florida. And I bet somebody else just now found out that Flo Rida. Spells out Florida. I'm not the only dumb one. I know somebody in the chat room Anybody or ten somebody years listening old. Yeah. right now. Somebody in the chat room or somebody listening right now just found that out for the no, first didn't. time tonight that Florida spells Florida. You may not admit it, but I didn't know. And we got nine stupid here. people, and I don't think anybody's admitting it because they're not stupid. No, they don't want to be made oh, yeah. fun of in the chat room, but. I guarantee somebody listening just found that out tonight. From there we go to Alberto Del Rio versus <laughs> Rob Van Dam. Del Rio picks up the win with the uh, cross arm breaker. Right. Uh, they plugged the CM Punk Best in the World documentary, which airs tonight on the uh, WWE Network. And I was wondering, because the clips they showed... Give me that chat room. I want somebody... The clips they showed, a lot of them looked like that old documentary that I made you watch part of, remember? Uh, I was just they, watching the other day when you were in here going through stuff. Okay. The Punk? The CM Punk documentary. Okay. Right. The clips last night, though, some of them looked different. Like it was a newer, like a special, but they just said best in the world, or uh, best in the world, uh, beyond the ring. Okay. And that's a series where they pretty much just air documentaries that they released on DVD. In the right. So right. I, I want to check that out tonight. Dusty like, Rhodes is I downloaded, I downloaded the last night instead of Raw Backstage Pass, the post show, they had WCW Best of Nitro or whatever. Right. It was like a clip. Off the Best of Nitro DVD that they released fucking 700 years ago. So you know what the thing I is with that? My, I fucked my ratio up because I illegally downloaded it via torrent. You know what the thing is with that, right? The government they, don't they, come get they me. They plug that after Raw, right? You're going to be able to view the free network. Nitro, yeah. right? Well, and that's another thing, right? They kept plugging. You can sign up right now free for the WWE Network. That was the hard sell. If you sell up before up, tonight. Yeah. If you signed up during Raw, you've only got an hour. Yeah. To view and then it's well, the over. people's belief would be that if I sign up now because they said free week trial of WWE Network, if so they're thinking if I now. sign up before the 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 offer ends, then I get my free. I week. get a free week. You no, no. It's they had that seven point. days free, and if you sign up at any time in seven days, if when that seven days are up, over, you're done. If you signed up last night during Raw at ten thirty Eastern time. You only got an hour and a half of the free network, so you can watch one show, and then that's it. They're not going to give you a free week. You're not going to get the pay-per-view on Sunday for free. No. So this whole thing about the network is free. Sign up right now. I think the reason that they did that you is gotta because read they, comment. they wanted to get yeah. everybody's email. They wanted to get everybody's email so they could put them on a mailing on list. list. They got mine. I signed up. Right, right. Eric's comment's amazing. Low Rider is... Is Florida same as Just Incredible? Is Just Incredible? I knew Just, just incredible. incredible. Yeah, Just Incredible. Just Incredible yes. or Just In Right? Incredible. But anyways, so the whole network thing, like like I was saying, uh, it's it's dumb it's, guy. It's just 
you know, you would have had an hour of free network last night, and then you don't get seven days. I mean, you're basically so they got your email, they put you on a mailing list, and now they can email you a bunch of uh, a bunch of BS. We had uh, Nikki Bella against Cameron and Alicia Fox. Nikki exactly, Bella's in a guess, handicap yeah. match. Right? Stephanie came out and talked about Bree slapping her and blah 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 blah. They're, they're building up to a Stephanie Bree one on one match supposedly at SummerSlam. I believe. Supposedly at SummerSlam. They're it's calling not this out. Sunday. Yes, yeah, so Alicia SummerSlam. Fox. They took a poll on WWE.com today. At Alicia Fox and Cameron, the Foxadactyls. Foxadactyls. All right, it's 9 o'clock. Do you want to save Sting for after the break? Yes. Or? Okay. We'll save it. All right. You are listening to WZR TV. We're going to pack, come back on the flip side. We're going to finish up Monday Night Raw from last night. We're taking you a live phone calls as well. Hello? Are you there? Am I on the Am air? Am I on the air? Yeah. Uh, we're going to come back on the flip side. We're also going to try to do rapid fire tonight. I'll put it up during the uh, the commercial break. You guys submit your questions. Make them lo- one line. Please don't Please go guys. crazy. You know, don't go yeah. crazy with these long paragraphs tonight. Make them one line questions. We'll try to shoot through them as quick as we can. Go to Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR or no, never mind. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. Post your questions and comments. We'll answer them in rapid fire fashion. And hour number two takes a break, sir. You're listening to WZR TV Tuesdays with Matt Boone and me and Ryan Clark. Him. We'll be back right after this. Yes. How we doing, army? Yo, yo, shit. Guys, shit, are you serious, bro? Are you serious? So wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 wait a minute, bro. Are you wait okay? a minute. Are you okay? So because I pushed you, eight times, you're gonna ruin. Yeah. You're gonna ruin a two hundred dollar. Put it on your neck. Shut up. On my neck, it's all over the computer. All over? I You're see gonna it ruin right here. I just wiped it off. Do you yeah. see the keyboard? Look at the keyboard. You're gonna ruin a two hundred dollar right fucking here. computer. I see it. You're gonna ruin. We have a caller. A two hundred dollar computer. Caller, you're on the air. Welcome to WGR TV, where me and Ryan are great friends. No. Oh. Talk to the caller, bro. Shut the music off so I can hear him. Yeah. <laughs> he hung up. Hey, hey we're back! We're back! Yeah. And hopefully the laptop still works. Can you wipe the screen off a little things. bit? Why don't you wipe that screen off a little bit? Why you wipe the screen off? And the keyboard too. Alright there, tough guy? So uh, what do we got planned here in the next 60 minutes? We're gonna minutes? finish up Monday Night Raw. You got big giant hair well, on I your clean shirt. And do you see? Right here, right here. Big giant hair on your shirt. You got it. And we're back! This is what I live with. This is what I deal with. He didn't see what happened in the commercial. Cop the guy pushes me eight times on the bed. I should take knock the phone him out. Call. Yeah. You're lucky that's all you got. Prick. Talk to the caller. Talk to him. You got a big fan that wants to talk to you. Caller! Hey, you You're up. live. You don't like it. I said he wants to talk to you, and he said, oh, I don't want to talk to Ryan. Look at me, bro. And he hung up. Look at this. you would be all right. It's not funny. Should that was one of the dumbest things you've ever done. Try to ruin a two hundred dollar laptop computer. It slipped. All for what? Throwing some beer on me? We have a what caller. What the fuck is wrong with you? Caller, you're live Here, on do WZR you, do you TV. Think what's Angle's up? Return and wrestle for WWE again. I'm turn speakers down. Oh, uh, what's up, man? Do you think Kurt Angle is going to return and wrestle for WWE again? Um, Kurt Angle. Thanks for the call. You know the 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 deal with Kurt Angle, and then w- we'll get w- back w- into uh, Monday Night Raw. Yeah, the deal with Kurt Angle is it's. Kurt wants to return to WWE. He's been very open about that in uh, in interviews, you know, recent interviews, where Wait. he says, you know, I'm going to sign one more contract. And the reason that he hasn't re-signed with TNA is because he's hoping for a WWE offer. Now, of course, WWE would Jeez. want WWE Whoa. would want Kurt Angle to return to the company. Can he pass the physical? The issue is, can he pass the WWE physical? Which is another which issue that nobody to seems do. to talk about with Sting. And I'm telling you, that's going to be an issue with his old ass. But anyways, caller, you're on the air. What's going on? What's on your mind? What's going on, guys? How you doing, man? 
Good, good. Hey, um, before I get to my question, just want to let you guys know, um, I'm, gonna, I'm going to Raw uh, next week in Miami. I live in Florida. Um, so a couple of members of the WZR Army are going to be there. We're going to be repping you guys with our signs, so keep an eye out every time the camera pans over. You're the man, bro. We had uh, we had a guy last night who he's was... The man. Uh, he's the man, man. He's oh. going to Raw next week in uh, Miami, and he's going to uh, bring a WZR sign, he said. Yeah. Uh, last night, I don't know if you saw the photo that I put up on uh, on Facebook. Do we have some I, love in the arena? There was, uh, the big, there was a big yellow sign, uh, WZR Army. Uh, I, I believe, I think the guy's name was Mike, I want to say Michael Garcia, but I... Yeah, Call I in if you're listening. I don't know if I ha if if I have that uh, if I have the right name, but I think it was Michael Garcia. So big shout out to uh, to him last night. Yeah. Yeah, I can't look at the screen a lot because I'm big, doing play uh, by play, but I'm sure it was yeah. big yellow sign for uh, for D it said WZR Army. I put a photo up on uh, on my Facebook page. It's probably buried now after all the uh, the news posts yeah, today. Got the on, thing, on Facebook, the photos right? and the videos organized. Just click right. the photos. And but you can check it out. Uh, so big big props to, I think his name was Michael Garcia for doing that last night. So, and you too, man, next week. Yeah, uh, man, that's really at, awesome. Uh, I appreciate when you're it. Raw. Thank you, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to call back in uh, next week. I'll let you know how it was and if you guys saw it. But I did Sweet. have um, two quick things real fast. Um, so, um, the thing with Paul Heyman, um, I was confused that you know, okay, he's fired from Cesaro, but then what confused me was when he told Triple H, um, I like your plan B, because I know, like, plan B is supposed to be Brock Lesnar, and then he said, if you want a foolproof plan C, then you know where to find me, so I'm like, well, then what the hell does that mean, because if Brock Lesnar's his client and he's plan B, then what is he talking about with plan C? Wow. So that was kind of confusing to me, I didn't really understand that. I don't know if you guys know what segment I'm talking yeah, about, but he was it in the was, back and it, it was interesting last night. Uh, we got a bunch of phone calls. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the call, dude. Um, just hold off on uh, phone calls for a second. I, um, with with you know, basically what he's saying is it's Paul Heyman last night with uh, Cesaro. Uh, basically, what had happened is uh, right, right, right. Paul Heyman didn't, didn't come out. Paul Heyman didn't come out with Cesaro last night on uh, on that Raw. That was weird. And then there was a backstage segment later yeah. in the show. Well, no, where it was weird was the announcers were talking like, "I heard he got fired." No, I heard he right. quit. No, I saw him earlier today. I'm like, "What the fuck is going on?" Right. Why? And, and then they never really explained it. Well, Michael Cole was the one last night who kept saying, "I saw him earlier in the day." Yeah. But and when they came back from commercial. JBL said, just because you saw him earlier today doesn't mean he was fired or didn't quit. And Michael right. Cole was like, good point. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? No, it was weird that he didn't come out with Cesaro. Now, yeah, the no. reasoning behind that, you know, and then uh, basically what the caller was saying is in a backstage segment later in the night, uh, Heyman had come up to Triple H and said, plan you C. know, a plan C. So I'm guessing plan B was, uh, I, I, I think... The original plan B was for Brock Lesnar to return, right? I think Paul Heyman comes up with a plan C. I think plan C is now Brock Lesnar returning, and plan B is Seth Rollins cashing in. B, Maybe they're, they're switching it up. There's supposed to not be a plan B if you watch the storyline all night. It was like, no, no matter what happens, Orton, you're walking out. And he's like, all right, so we don't need a plan B then, right? Right. And Triple H was like, right. All along, they did have a plan B. I think the joke... And this is really, really stupid, but I think it was Plan B, Plan C. Plan B, Brock. B, Brock. Right. Plan C, Cesaro. C, Cesaro. I really? Think that's I, what didn't, was I wouldn't I go think that that's far. that's what it was supposed to be. I wouldn't go that far, man. But I, either I, way. Honestly, yeah. I think the original plan all along was Plan B was for to be Brock, Brock Lesnar to come out, and uh, well, you know, that would set up the match between Brock Lesnar and John Cena, which they are going to do. At SummerSlam. We gotta put okay. some context into this, though. Basically, the plan B, plan A, plan C, what all this is about is they need to get the title off of Cena at Battleground. If that doesn't happen, plan B was Seth Rollins. That's Ron not gonna happen, by the it's way. Not. Cena, plan Cena B was Seth Rollins catches in. That, that, if, if Orton and Kane together, conspiring, can't get the title off Cena, Seth will cash in after he's beaten up after the match. Right. If that doesn't work, I think that's what Heyman was suggesting was... I got a guy that, that he ends fucking WrestleMania streaks, he wins. Right. You want a plan B? You tell my guy to fight Cena at SummerSlam, we'll get you your title back. 
Right. You know, I right. think that's the layout. Something, something like that. But thanks for the it call. Was, by the way. It was weird. I, I, no, we didn't. That was a different caller that you hung up on. He was on hold. Whoops. Uh, call back uh, the guy that was on hey, hold. Up, caller, guys? you're live on WZR TV. What's going on? Um, what do you guys think about them putting CM Punk in the WWE alumni? Yeah, they, uh, we, we talked about it, uh, in our numero uno, bro. Uh, CM Punk was removed, or was moved from WWE.com. His profile was moved over to the alumni section. I mean, the idea, I, basically, wow. what we said on the websites, man, is, uh, his contract was expiring around July 17th, give or take a few days. Uh, we're at July 15th right now, so. I'm guessing, you know, his contract probably expired. You Any know, day, we, we, if we, not already. If it was today or yeah. if it's July 17th. Nonetheless, they moved into the uh, the alumni section of WWE.com just a couple of hours ago. And, and we haven't talked about it, but he's talking about opening up a podcast. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. They basically, I mean, that's, that's basically confirmation that CM Punk is now, his contract's expired with WWE. Uh, they are not going to do anything where they're going to re-sign him and say that you owe us six months, no. this, that, and the other thing. Are we going to bring up your big um, prediction from last night, or is that not going to happen? Keep taking a phone call. Let's take some call. Play. We got one here. Right, uh, Caller, you're live on WZR TV. What's going on? We got a lot of phone calls. Hey, what's going on, guys? How you doing, man? Good, man. I just wanted to uh, mention real quick last night, Ray White's promo is going on. Okay. And start chanting boring. That's a good point, too. During uh, Bray's promo last night, there was a segment with Jericho who returned last week. He came out, and he was run down like all the shit he's seen in 15 years in WWE, blah, 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 blah. Different characters, different storylines. Right. Different moments. And he uh, got to Bray. Bray cut him off. He put Bray over. You know, I've never seen He's like, I've seen yeah, this. Yeah. I've seen that. And he talked about all these wacky things. Like, he's seen everything. Right. But then when he gets to Bray, he's like, I've never seen anything like Bray. So he's putting him over and shit. Right. And then Bray appears in the Titan Tron, and Bray starts cutting one of his promos. And we've talked about this in the air where it's like, he has a great delivery. Right. It sounds like he's saying cool shit. But 90% of the time, it doesn't make any fucking sense. You don't know what the hell he's talking about. He's, like, telling a story about a little kid, like, making s'mores at a, at a 4-H club or something. <laughs> and then a little, like, try and relate it to Jericho at the end. Like, you never know what the hell he's talking he about. He says, a little kid making s'mores yeah. at a 4-H club. It's an off-the-top-head example <laughs> joke. But, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it's very, you know, I'm talking about this and the right, stars right, and right. the galaxy. Whatever the fuck, but by the time he gets to the point... And it seemed cool up to this point, but last night Richmond wasn't having it. They were like, no, yeah, they, they just were. started chanting boring at him. They were booing him. They, well, boring. Well, they were you know what? Boring at him. Luckily, and, he was done right around when the But the idea started. was, they, they and Thanks we put, for the call, it, we by put the it up on the website, they were trying to make the Wyatt family look uh, like big big time heels going into Battleground. Yeah. Uh, you know, Bray's going to be the heel against Jericho. They had uh, Rowan and Harper come out and attack the Usos before their and match. And Jericho. So they did everything possible. They Jericho. And Jericho yeah. as well. So they did everything possible last night on Raw to make the Wyatt family seem like heels as they were getting over as in recent faces. weeks yeah. as baby faces. So going into Battleground, they wanted to make sure that the Wyatt family were heels and they, I, I, you know, they accomplished that last Before night. On, uh, on Raw. Caller, you're live on WZR TV. What's going on? A lot of phone calls. Yeah, do, you, do you think uh, Cesaro's push is cooling, is cooling off for uh, for Heyman to go with the listener, or do you think it's just... Or, um, or, or you think they're just tired of pushing uh, Cesaro? Oh, my God. you got to let me take this one. I wrote a whole column about this recently, like last week on eWrestlingNews.com. eWrestlingNews.com. Check it out. It basically, it was, do they want Cesaro to get over? It's like, he's lost to... You know he's lost three straight weeks on a roll? Let me say this, and then you go on a rant. Okay. Cesaro, before Cesaro was with Heyman, Cesaro was getting over on his own. more. He yeah. was getting over more Just organically. on his own. Yeah. They put him with Heyman, and you think, wow, Cesaro's now he's, off. Now he's going? Yeah. Cesaro has... They paired him with Heyman. Oh, what happens is... Dropped. Heyman stands so there ahead. and brags about fucking Brock Lesnar while Cesaro stands in the background like right. daddy's second favorite it's, son. Yeah, absolutely. And on top of that, they've beat him three weeks in a row. Kofi yeah. Kingston beat him during a commercial That's right. three That's weeks right. ago, and yeah. when he came back, he beat up Kofi. Right. So they had Kofi beat him, and then didn't help Kofi any because he got his ass kicked when we came back from the commercial. Right. right. Last week, they did the same thing, but then when Cesaro went to beat up Kofi after Kofi got the fluke win over Cesaro, right. Big E comes out and chases Cesaro away. Yep. So nobody yep. gets over. Cesaro right. loses. Kingston doesn't get over for winning because Cesaro beat him down. Mm -hmm. Big E chases Cesaro off, so Cesaro doesn't get over for beating down Kingston after losing. 
This week, Cesaro loses in a fluke fucking upset to... Who the fuck was it? They lost to. Uh, who did... Uh, call her. Who did Cesaro face last night on... Uh, on uh, who was it? Vicky. 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 All right, Vicky. so yeah, so he's lost three weeks in a row, and it's like, God damn, you guys are trying to push this guy? Like, supposedly, when Lesnar wins the title at SummerSlam, one of the programs, not maybe not right away, but pretty soon into Lesnar's title run, is the battle between Paul Heyman guys. The same way Lesnar and Punk at last right. year's SummerSlam right. worked each other because they were both Paul Heyman guys, and Heyman side was one of the other. You would expect a similar you know, storyline to play out. With the well, I, situation. I, I thought Cesaro would be built up as a major star with Paul Heyman right there and by his side. And it was so obvious to turn a baby face when they split from the Americans, but then when they put him with Heyman, it's like, he's got to be a heel. Right. But they know in their back pocket, eventually he's going to turn on Heyman and right. fight Lesnar, so, you know, but do the fans stay with it the whole time? How are they going to stay with it if he keeps losing? Right. I think the dumb mindset... No, if he keeps I think losing the mindset and WWE, Heyman keeps praising Lesnar... I think and, the and mindset like WWE is that he's a heel with Heyman. Right. So he keeps losing and losing and losing, and the fans are like, ah, 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 and then when he turns babyface, it's like, oh, now he's going to win. When he's right. a heel, he loses. When he's a babyface, he, when he's away yeah. from Heyman, he wins. When he's that's with weird. Heyman, he loses. That's I weird. think that's the mindset, and it's retarded. And it's and like the caller, back to his point, is it going to get Cesaro over? No. Man. You don't beat a guy every week on TV when he's not already established. You would, you when he's would. just trying to get established on a push. Right. You don't beat him fucking three weeks in a row and say, now we got a star, folks. Cesaro was over on his own, dude, and then he went with Heyman, and exactly. now he's not as over. They don't have, when's the last time you saw Cesaro swing? You've got a Heyman alongside. No, you haven't seen the Cesaro swing. I haven't seen one in fucking forever. But you've got Heyman with him, and the fact that he's not getting over with Heyman, uh, and they're the, jobbing him the out. The reason uh, Palin can't get over in WWE is because booking is way too inconsistent. It really is. I agree you're, completely. You're absolutely yeah, right, man. Guys right. Yeah. Thanks uh, for the call. Thanks for the call, bro. Lot of, we've got so many phone calls I think tonight. this is Callie. I'm not sure. Caller, Callie. What's up, brother? Yeah. Hey, what's up? Just one quick question. So since Heyman is the main topic, um, do you guys ever see him maybe being like the, the head writer for Dwar Smackdown again since people are always calling a wrestling genius or what? The head writers are are you know do do they see Heyman or Cesaro as a as a no, genius? Heyman, I mean, if Heyman kisses his butt and just keeps his mouth shut and do what he's doing like year like a year or two from now, would they say push him and get say you know what this is so good, Heyman? Let us give you like the the head creative writing job for either Raw or SmackDown or something you know, like that. You know, he's down the basically road. listen. Heyman and Vince McMahon have always had a, a strange is he saying relationship. Heyman, is he reading scripted promos or if is he improvising? Heyman, if Heyman comes out and he does a great job over the next year or two, yeah. would they would they promote Heyman? Would he eventually get a, a head creative job? Something? Oh like no, that? no, Heyman doesn't want to be Heyman. Heyman doesn't. I mean, no, Heyman, they, Heyman butts heads because he's very outspoken and opinionated, like me. Like, I, you mm-hmm. can't pay me enough to keep fucking my mouth shut. I'll speak my right. mind. Whether you like it or not, I'm going to tell you what I think. Heyman's the same way. Vince doesn't really like that, even though he encouraged Heyman. When he, when, Heyman used to be the head writer of SmackDown right, right. when they did the brand extension. And and Heyman was told by Vince, yo, thanks for the call, by the way, Cal. I appreciate it. Love you calling every week. Um, no, but uh, Heyman was told by Vince when he was hired to create it, to, to be the head uh, guy of SmackDown. No, I don't want you to be a yes man. I want you, but I want you to speak up. He would speak up too much, right? And exactly. it would be this, right? And they so, would and then he told a story on the Awesome Podcast recently, where I guess they have conference calls for Raw and SmackDown or whatever, and he's not supposed to because he's SmackDown. He's not supposed to sit on the Raw conference call, mm-hmm. but he accidentally did or some shit, and he got in trouble. Right. Long story right. short, he would butt heads a lot when he was part of the creative team, and he has said in many interviews that. The thing that's made this hey, run so refreshing. Hey, the thing, he never thought he return star, because Kenta, Kenta, the thing that made this run refreshing is that he's a talent and not right. behind the scenes. And behind the scenes just doesn't work. In right. WWE. Caller, you are live on WZR TV. What's going on? Hey, yeah, I just wanted to talk about the uh, Japanese star WWE son, Kenta or Kente. Right, yeah, yeah um, no doubt. Yeah, do you guys think they're going to let him use the GPS since uh, that was Paul's finisher or no? Do we think so? Uh, are they going to let uh, Kenta use the GTS? I mean, basically, no. when, when yeah. CM Punk came into WWE, he stole it. He yeah. took that move from Kenta. Same uh, name, too, by the way. Right, right. Yeah. K- 
Kenta uh, recently signed with WWE. You guys know that. Uh, we put it up on the website. So they've yeah. got a big this contract signing. This past week signing. in Japan, the in the thing, ring. The Hogan thing I'm worried about, and not necessarily with, with Kenta, because Kenta is a huge star overseas in Japan, and I think WWE recognizes that. But with a guy like Kevin Steen, Ring of Honor, uh, ROH is Kevin Steen. He's going to finish up this weekend with Ring of Honor, and then is going to report to WWE deve- Developmental, learn the NXT, WWE yeah. style. It, right, NXT developmental uh learn the wwe style you know a slower pace you want the perfect you know. analogy i'm afraid with kevin steen i think when they call kevin steen up i just i don't know i think they're gonna job him out. i think well, he's gonna turn into a, a comedy and i hope not I you really... focus the call was about kent and not kevin steen but you're right kevin right. steen's not gonna be the badass that he is in roh no, and WWE. he's, he's gonna be something completely different right if right. anything Oh, uh, Kenta. Not going to have the same name. They're not going to let him. Oh, use obviously not. Name. No, no, right. No. Kenta right. is what the car was calling about, and the perfect analogy for that is Sin Cara. Yeah, I mean, Mystico. Sin Cara. Mystico. Mystico. He was an enormous star in Mexico. He was a huge. He came star in with the overseas. fucking big head because right. he was a big star out elsewhere. Right. He got paid a lot, and mm-hmm. they hated him already because of that. And then when he came in, he didn't. You're right. They gave You're him right. a shit fucking lame gimmick, and he didn't do anything. Kenta is going to get a lame Yoshi tattoo. Probably. Uh, I what's that doubt fucking it. guy's name? Uh, Funaki. Funaki, something Japanese like that. Japanese gimmick, and that, he's going to be a jobber. And it I've, sucks because he's Daniel Bryan, CM Punk level, independent. As far as in ring talent, yeah. as far as in ring talent is concerned, Kenta is amazing yeah. uh, in ring. Right. This is our last one. Then we got to right. Then we got to get, uh, we gotta get back into Monday Night Raw. We'll take one more uh, live you, phone call here, and then we think will move on to Raw. Turn your speakers down, bro. Caller, you're live on WZRT. What's up? But I want to know if you think he's gonna have feud with anyone else other than Undertaker. I didn't. I didn't hear the question, bro. Time? You gotta. You gotta ask one more time. Sting. When if, when Sting comes back, if he comes back, Perfect. who do you think he's gonna have a feud with other than Undertaker? I know everyone thinks he's gonna have a feud with Undertaker. All right. Uh, th- thanks, thanks, thanks for the call. call That's right where we left off on Raw. I'll tell you Last what. Last night, the uh, it was promoted all Go week. On. Right. Sting posted a tweet. Seven fourteen fourteen, July fourteenth, two thousand fourteen. Everybody speculated, what is he talking about? What is he teasing? What is he hinting at? What is he hyping? Well, let me say this, too. Psycho Sid Vicious and the Honky Tonk Man and a couple of other people also chimed in, and they put out tweets that said 7-14-2014. Obviously, probably just milking it, yeah. we know now that they were milking it. They were trying to get some press. Honky Tonk Man, Sid Vicious, they do it all the time. Sid Vicious. Does Sid even, even have Twitter? Because I got Sid Vicious. Remember, no, I got yelled at by Matt Hardy because he they, had a fake Sid account. They had said, I don't know if we know if that account is fake or if it's the real deal. But it was the fake Sid, when I got yelled at. Sid yeah. Vicious account yesterday. And he had a billion followers, too. The Sid Vicious account yesterday put up a photo where he was on a highway, right? And he's driving in a car, and a sign pops up, I and it says, this. Richmond. Off the oh, right. Really? Next, next exit. Some Richmond. Jericho shit. I'm at the Minneapolis airport in the extreme, or eliminate so some chambers in Minneapolis. So tonight. he's driving on a highway and he puts up Richmond, next right, or next exit, or something like that. We didn't put it up on the website because I don't know if that account is real or fake, but uh, it turned out that it didn't mean anything. The Honky no. Tonk Man. And maybe, but maybe. To get to the point, Sting, right. uh, the commercial, it was all week he did the tweet. What's it going to be? A lot of people thought. He's either going to be promoting the video game, the DVD that they're producing of him, or he's coming to WWE and he signed. Right. Uh, a lot of people thought the, the third one, that he signed, he's coming, and that's why all the fuss was like, why would he put a big, oh my god, 7, 14, 14, the right. day we witnessed the commercial for a new video game that he's going to be a cartoon in. Right. Like, who cares? And that's exactly what it ended up being. It was a well, great commercial. It was a badass commercial. Right. But even the uh, fans in the arena, I noted this in my play-by-play last night that I was writing live during the show, they went nuts when they saw Sting finally turn his head and show his face paint and the they whole thing. They booed it! They went nuts when they saw Sting turn his head and show the face paint and everything, and then as the commercial ended and they flashed up the WWE 2K15 video Everybody game. Everybody booed, right. Everybody's right. like, oh, oh, that's it, boo! But wait a minute, we put up on the website numerous times. No, we said that's what it was going to be. Sting yeah, I know, I'm just saying. Not, Sting was that's not going to appear. He wasn't going to be live on Raw. Of course not. probably going to be a video package, something like that. Here's the deal. We still haven't gotten to your CM Punk prediction yet, though. I'll look into it. we got to get to that. Um, and, and Take I don't, I don't even want to talk about it because... I specifically said, and I got people in the chat room to hey, back me up on I'll this. I'll admit everything that's true. 
Who was in the chat room last night? The Winner's Lair. People. Winner's Lair. That's pretty much the only guy. John Morgan, I think, was too. Winner's Lair. There was like uh, two people. John Morgan and... Nobody wants to just listen to him talk about Raw. They want Matt Boone. Who was the other one? I think it was John Morgan, Winner's Lair, and then it was like two guys that didn't really... I didn't know those names off the top of my head, so... Winner's Lair. Is it important? John Morgan and... We're going to stall for this. Teresa. And Teresa. Was it Teresa? Teresa? No, she wasn't in there. Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Yes, she was. Teresa, were you in the raw chat room last night when we were talking about CM Punk? Teresa, back me up. It's going to be a while. There's a delay. Anyways, what were you saying about It was CM John Punk? Morgan, Winner's Lair. Oh, she says me. Okay. If I don't remember her being in there. Say you were wrong. I was wrong. Thank you. She wasn't in there when I saw the Thank chat you. listening. There was five people and there was no girls. They were in there. The only last names, night. and I would know Teresa because she's one of the two fucking crazy but lovable girls that are in the chat room. It was Winter's Lair, and crazy I said, but "Yo, lovable and Teresa are two different people." I know two girls. I said we had. Okay, she's one of two girls, so I would remember that Winter's Lair was one of them. I believe John Morgan was the other, and then the other two guys I didn't know, and then you were the okay. Fifth. Nobody was in the chat. So room. let's talk about it. What do you want to? What, what did you, you say? No, go ahead. Well, go we ahead. didn't finish thing. That's well, you, an important thing. We so, got to finish thing. Okay. They aired the commercial. You, you are so hell bent on this, and I want to know what you got to say. You were hell bent. We had bets last no, night. I, I bet a week worth the fucking hell. Uh, when All kinds you, of when stuff. When you guys hear this, man, I tell hope, the story. Uh, the three of you, I hope you guys are gonna back me tell up. The story. Oh, oh Heyman hasn't up. showed up. Doesn't it make sense that this is happening? Okay, dude. I, I hope said he's gonna not gonna be there. I hope you're gonna back me up, guys. There, I said it's the go home show for Battleground. Why would they just throw him out of the fucking? There are three of you. He probably talked to Vince and said, "Yo, what do we gotta do to get you?" Come back, man. What do we got? There are do? three of you in the chat room that I hope to God you will defend me on this because he's gonna go on a rant and I'm he's not gonna, gonna try rant. to call I me just, out. I'm done. He's gonna try to call me out on some the bullshit. End. And the three of you in the chat room the last end. night, before I ended that stream last night, I said to you guys, I'll see you tomorrow night. I need you guys. So but Sting What did you say? Video package aired. Yeah. Sting. Last night on Rock. Correct. WWE 2K15 video game. True story. The thing here is, I mean, it's. I think it's a similar deal with the Ultimate Warrior. Where Very similar, yeah. He signed the video game Separate deal. Separate deal. There's probably going to be a Hall of Fame induction. Real quick, he hasn't even signed with WWE yet. I, right. I mean, we may have by this point, but as we know, this is a just a 2K sports deal. Just like John Morgan, Morgan you the man, bro. I love just you, man. Just like... I love you. No, he um, didn't say that Punk wasn't coming. If you're gonna really Bobby say, Brock. if you're gonna read that sentence and and say that's what you were saying last night, you're lying. You're straight Teresa, up lying. Teresa, love you. You're straight up lying. All right, so you know anyways, you're lying, right? I'm not. How could you lie? I'm not. Let's finish up, Steve. You fucking bet me he's gonna be there. Anyway, I bet you. I bet you shook my hand a week without what? A, a week. I bet you. We didn't bet. No weed for a week is what I bet him. Did I not bet you that? Jesus, dude. Right, but there was no bet on my end. Yeah, he wanted, I made fun of him for that. I said, so you're so, so you can come, if, if, fucking by some crazy chance CM Punk shows up tonight. Can we I said, I said, if by some crazy chance CM Punk shows up tonight, I don't want to hear I told you so. And he said, no, 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 I'm going to tell you I told you so. I said, but if he doesn't, I can't say I told you so. And you said, no. No, because I'm not saying he's going to be there. But if he's there, I'm going to tell you. I told you. So you wanted it all you, nothing me. You're putting nothing up. I'm putting everything up. And if you're right, oh, you're a genius. If you're wrong, oh, you weren't really wrong because you didn't technically say it. That's what you did. Tell the truth to your fucking fans. They love you a lot. You can't lie to them. Be honest. Look in the camera and tell them what you said. Sting. Promo. Last we night. We finished that. Raw. Yeah. It's a similar deal to the old warrior. warrior yeah. All right, um, and 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 warrior, I, he got the hall Whoa, of fame. Induction. You're gonna want to read Teresa's comment. It makes I, you look yeah, good. I'm it right. makes you look good. Go Regardless ahead. of what I, I want to eat, your dick is what she just oh, said. Okay, I thought you would want to uh, eat that. <laughs> but, but, but but listen, <coughs> uh, I think it's a similar deal to the Ultimate Warrior and and others who have gotten the Hall of Fame induction and then they appear at WrestleMania as well. Yes. Um, and I feel like Sting, you know, he's going to do the video game deal. Not only that, but Sting just did an interview with I believe it was the Mirror in the United Daily Kingdom, Mirror, the Daily Mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, where he said that at WrestleMania 31, he wants to face The Undertaker. Uh, they asked him about working with WWE again. He said that it was a long time 
in the making. So it seemed to me uh, like the Sting interview yes. that he had reached an agreement with WWE. That's what it sounds like. In addition yeah. to that, WWEshop.com is now selling merchandise That's the for key Sting. Thing, yeah. So they have reached some sort of deal due to the fact that they've got the video game. They're now selling merchandise with Sting. Some sort of deal or agreement has been re- has been reached. I don't know if it's a talent contract, but some agreement has been reached with uh, Sting and WWE. Otherwise, they wouldn't have got, have gone and done that last night on uh, Raw. Winners there. Ryan said it's 100% not going to happen. After CM all your bullshit before. Okay, okay but yeah. Okay. Maybe you said that when I wasn't in there. So I didn't earlier in the shit. night, let me explain. Will you let me talk go without cutting off? Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just let me rant and then Start I will talking. let you go. go I will let you go. Start talking. Earlier in the night, I even put it up on my Facebook page. I said something is up with the Paul Heyman not coming out with Cesaro. And you... I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm helping you. Go ahead. And you said Ambrose was taken out. I'm sick for this. I'm trying to quit, but I, I need And to you said it. Ambrose was taken out. Maybe that was part of it because Punk would be the surprise replacement. We can go to that. Did you not say that? I, in, in, in the very beginning of the show, there was a six man tag team match. Yes. And Dean Ambrose. All week it was promoted. Dean Ambrose had been taken out of the yeah. match. Yeah. So throughout Raw, they were promoting you need that a three on two match. No, that's fine. Okay. During Raw, they were promoting that it was going to be three on two yes. as Dean Ambrose had been taken to the hospital. the hospital. Yeah. Okay, that was early in the show. Then, as the show went on, Cesaro comes out and there was no Paul Heyman with him. Then. The announcers were talking about fired quit. Yeah. Right, fired quit, this, that, and the other thing. And then, uh, Paul Heyman is backstage with Triple H and Stephanie McMahon, I think it was, yes. whoever it was. Yes. But uh, Paul Heyman, and he talked about a plan C for Battleground. It now, was, it was I actually, it was said, Triple H, Stephanie, and Seth Rollins. And then when Rollins left, Heyman came. Because Rollins was talking about plan B. And then okay. when he left, Heyman came in and said, well, if you need a plan C. A plan C. Good. Now, what I had said at that point is, okay, we've got a three. You got some fans in there, man. Okay, no doubt. No I doubt. figured you'd want to read that. It makes you look good. Uh, totally want to go take Rip. that towel off Clark's neck. <laughs> All right, we'll take it off. But so I had said going into the main event, we've got a three on two match. Yes. Okay, we hadn't seen Paul Heyman throughout the night. That they they had hyped it up that he was either fired or he was not there or he was there, as okay. Michael Cole said. So I had said to you, I came in here and God, I wish first, I recorded it. the first words out of my mouth, he was I so said, sure, guys. <laughs> the first words out of my mouth, I said to you, I don't think this is going to happen. And I'll bring his tracks, and then he said, I'll bring my tracks. Yeah. No, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> exactly. Absolutely. Hey, did the in case I'm wrong, I didn't predict this, did but. The, wait a minute, wait a minute. Go ahead. Did the thought cross my mind that, you know what? Maybe CM Punk will be on Raw tonight. Did you? Can I did ask you a question? Thought, did the thought cross my mind? It did. Am I allowed to ask a question? I'm not going to lie. It did. Can I, can I ask a question? Yeah. Did you not come in the room after... Uh, what was it? <coughs> oh, when Heyman showed up and said, I got a plan C. Did you not come right back in my room and say... What are you thinking now? Tell me you're not thinking the same thing I'm thinking. I did. All right, continue. I did. I did. And I, I said that. not even a little bit, dude. Not even a fucking said, little bit. And, and at that point... Is that what I said? Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Thank Absolutely. You. Thank you. Absolutely, Absolutely bro. And, and I said, it's still three on two. Paul Heyman's got a plan C. We haven't seen him out there with Cesaro. They're hyping this thing up. Something is strange with Paul Heyman. They're asking me to take but, my shirt off, sir. But I continue to say I don't think it's going to happen. It's a long shot, man. It is a long shot. You wanted to be able to me. brag in case some crazy chance it happened. If it did happen, yeah. my whole idea was if it did happen, I would be able to come in here and rub it in Boone's face. But yeah. if it didn't happen. Yeah, I was very confident all it, night it's not happening. It's if not it happening. didn't happen, yeah. if it didn't happen, which I didn't think it would but was there a slim chance that maybe maybe so I went on to the WZR stream during Raw last night the audio stream and I said to the people in the chat room all four or five of them in the chat room I said ain't there, five people telling show up, you guys but... I said tomorrow night Boone is going to call me out on this he's going to come on here he's going to call me out he's going to say you said CM Punk was going to be on Raw last night. This, that, and the other. I was looking sure for your enough, I call you out on it. Sure enough, we get to tonight, and Boone's trying to call me. 
I'm giving you the real story. I'm giving boom props. I'm telling exactly what it was. Did the thought cross my mind? It did. It did. I'm not gonna lie. It it didn't not cross my mind. It more than did it crossed cross, your mind. Did you it were cross, fucking half ass expecting it. Did it cross some of your guys' mind? I'm sure it did. Last night on Raw, no, you think it probably nobody. I, I'm guessing some people in the say chat. Say yes or no oh. in the chat. If it crossed your mind at all, Punk's returning tonight. Say yes. If it never crossed your mind once, even if he said it to you, and don't lie, five, don't lie. Be, be truthful in the chat room. If if you know what I mean, I dude. It again. Did, with with Paul Heyman's True plan, story. see. This, that, and the other thing. I knew you were going to come on here. I knew you were going to try to call me out on this. That's what happened. So, yeah, I'm admitting. Did, did the thought cross my mind last night? It did. Wow, it did. Winner's Lair said yes. I'm shocked. Winner's Lair, I respect you, too. You motherfucker. Okay. A lot of people John Morgan says did, no. Man. E Sharp says yes. A Two yeses yes. and one no. A couple people yes. Two you know, yes, a one no. Yes oh, Winner's Lair said you tricked him. Teresa said no. All right. Two to two, two know. to three, never. Two to four, okay. no. Two to five, no. Six. But keep in mind that I also said I two to don't. Six, two to six. I no. continue to say I don't think it's gonna You're happen. You're covering your tracks. Oh my god. You wanted to be able to brag, but you didn't want to get made fun of if you were wrong. You can't admit that. Uh, How could you admit that? I just, uh, dude, I said that the thought crossed my mind. Yeah, it crossed my mind. If you it boil did. it down to one sentence, I wanted to be able to brag if the fucking long shot that it happened, yes. But I didn't want to get made fun of if I was wrong, so no. He's gone. Punk is gone. Crazy but lovable in the chat. Punk is gone, oh, shit. man. And they moved him to the alumni section today. So can we end this that that I wasn't wrong, you weren't wrong, you were right. You were 100% right. I was right. right. I was 99% right, but there was that 1% yes. chance. All right, well, I was 100% right, right, and you were 99% right. Absolutely. You didn't believe that for makes one you wrong. You didn't believe for one second. You didn't believe for one second. I had a string of fucking hope, but I continued to tell the people in the chat room last night, it's not going to happen. You're covering your truth. It's not going to happen. Yes. Are we done? You were covering your Can tricks. we move on? Yes, go ahead. Can we move on? We re you're reading comments. Read the last one from Winner's Lair, please. There you go. Boone said it. Cover all the bases. That's, That's what, what you were doing. Night. You wanted That's to be able to brag on night. the long shot that it happened, but you didn't want to be made fun of if it didn't. Right. You went out on the ledge, but you didn't step on the edge of the ledge. You stood in the middle and said, I didn't yo. jump. I didn't you jump. You stood in the middle of the ledge and said, yo, if it happens, I told you, I'm on the ledge. If it doesn't happen, you have Backpack, you back up, and you say, ah, I didn't never say I that. was on the ledge, but I didn't jump, okay? I didn't jump, and if I had jumped, then I would have said, Did my yeah, boss not make a $10 bet with you as well? I don't know what There's he did. There's documented on, proof on, on your Facebook. Facebook. He was on Go Facebook. to Facebook.com slash All right, so he made Ryan a, Clark WZR. So what did he say, $10? He uh, said $10 says punk ain't there. $10 says Punk ain't there. I'm, t I'm taking the same bet that he is. I said to you. He was responding to your post that said, Yo, Punk, uh, Heyman, I don't know, or whatever oh, it said. Hell. What was the what was the? I don't remember what it said. I That's what you were Facebook, alluding to. I put up a Facebook page last night. I said, something is up with the Heyman stuff, but a lot of you guys are punks and don't enter the live chat room on Monday nights. A lot of you guys are punks. Half the people on my Facebook page didn't will, even get the reference of half the people are punks. Are punks. Yeah, I will they say didn't this. even get the reference. After you wouldn't shut up and you kept driving in my head, uh, when Heyman appeared and you came in and said, now nah, I know it's in your head, it wasn't. But then the announcers started talking about the fire and quitting thing again and why is he here and I swear to God for a fucking split second... Split second. Split second only. You thought about it. I said, holy shit, is CM Punk going to fucking return on this show? And I started telling myself in my brain, I said, God, I was talking to God. Please said, God, don't let it happen. No. I said, I hope I'm wrong. Right. I would gladly oh, I that. would gladly have a fucking 10 minute session on a camera that Clark says, ah, I told you so. And Punk's finally back. Because I miss CM Punk on I TV. Do too. I do So too. I was hoping I was wrong, but you I, know knew what? I knew I wasn't. You know what? But I'll admit that. I respect you. I'll, I'll respect that. you for saying fucking that. Fucking split second, though. For a split I'm second. I'm fucking a cut hair. I was a little bit more than a yeah. cut hair. I was a little bit more than a cut more hair. Than a, you were a bush of cut hairs. I was a bush. Yeah. I was a bush. You were a cunt bush. But I had... <laughs> <laughs> you were a bush cunt. All right. Yeah. But the fact that you said that for a split second... I did. I did. Maybe. Okay. For I'm most of that. your rant... I, I, no. I, no, no. I was no, like no, dismissing, no, no. dismissing. And then when Heyman showed up after all that firing, quitting stuff, I'm like, 
Wait, what the fuck is going on here? Wait, C Plan C? CM Punk? Right. I'm like, wait a minute. Fuck, for a split second I was thinking. Split second. And then I'm like, no, it's not. And I was like, I was hope I'm wrong. I, I would gladly be wrong and get made fun of fucking right. in front of a hundred some fucking people and you know, thousands that watch in the archive and then and then say, all right, I was wrong. All right. But every Monday night I get a CM Punk <laughs> promo again. I get a pipe bomb every week. I was right. You were All right. right. So for a split second, it crossed your mind. It did. For about a second, it crossed my mind. A second. And, and we. Is that what you're going to say? A second? Uh, two seconds. There was like three different segments where you walked in here and said, eh, what about now? What do you think now? I respected the, I respected the fact. Thought, but, yeah. but, but listen, that is the truth. That is the story. That's what happened last night. All right. I, you people in the chat room, and that's what happened with CM Punk. All right. Uh, if you guys want to call us live, it's 518-712-3070. We got uh, 10 minutes left. Everybody's seen Monday Night Raw from last Here, night, let's right? Let's just scroll let's, through. What did we miss? We'll go to the rapid so fire. Big we'll go to the rapid fire. Cesaro so Biggie doesn't matter. Chris Jericho Bray we talked about. AJ Lee and Eva Marie. AJ wins. And then her and Paige are frenemies. Uh, um, Bo Dallas, Dallas came out. Beat Great Kali after the match. Kali hit him. Right. Uh, backstage, more Kali questioning. Back. That's great, huh? Temporarily, yeah. Right. Uh, backstage, more questioning if Cannon Orton can trust each other. Rollins said he'd cash in if he need if they need him to. Ric Flair came back. He drooled over Renee Young, and then predicted what John Cena. What was the point? Okay, Ric Flair comes Ray, back. What was the point of Ric Flair? Ray, 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 right. Absolutely. Uh, and to establish him on TV again, because I believe he's coming back. I don't know yeah. if it's like. Next I'm glad week. that they haven't paired him with the Miz yet. That, thank God. Because yeah. when I saw Miz start to put the figure four on against right. uh, who was he facing? Shane. Um, when he was yeah, getting yeah. ready to put the figure, I was like, "Oh fuck me! Is Ric Flair going to be part of this too?" Uh, all right, uh, Jericho Harper announced for SmackDown. The Rollins, fact that he did that last night, though. I Rollins Ambrose announced for Battleground. Please don't say it, because uh, that I won't disagree with. All I, right, I all hope right. I'm wrong. Uh, main event was the uh, Cena Reigns against Orton Kane and Rollins uh, handicap match because they took out Ambrose. The uh, the uh, match ended up ending with what was it? Yeah, go ahead. Right. Reigns speared Orton, and uh, I think it was a no contest, right? The end of the uh, match. Main event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was no real winner or loser, but uh, basically it was down to the last because Rollins got injured during the match, and it was down to the same four people that will be in the Fatal Four Main Event right this Sunday. Rollins uh, was not injured on Raw. They did a storyline. That's what I'm saying. He was line. taken out of the right. match because he's not part of the Fatal so Four. So that they could showcase the four guys that exactly. were going to be in the uh, the Fatal Four Way for the uh, uh, title. And, and we the also need to show that uh, John Cena. John Cena came out and. Oh, the belt! Yeah, Ric yeah, yeah, Flair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, somebody ahead. asked a question no. earlier today. When John Cena's music hit, Ric Flair was walking up the ramp. Cena's music hit, and you noticed it, and you had said something to me. I didn't notice it. Hey, when sir, it we're going to get to the, the rap before I calm down. We'll get to it, bro. We'll get to it. Um, you had noticed it, and you had said that. Did you see he when said, Cena came out? What what did he say to he, the Flair? He had the two belts. He wore them around his neck. Yours? He gave him the one, the, the big. They call it the big gold belt. The the, the WCW, world title. WCW, world title. The world heavyweight championship. Right. WCW belt. That Flair made famous when uh, Ted Turner bought uh, WCW from Crockett. Um, Cena handed him that belt on his way to the ring. You know, he has uh, that little one-liner he says to the camera and then he runs. Right. right. His one-liner was he handed Flair the belt and said, here, you hold on to that. Or no, he said, you keep that. That's yours. You keep that. Let me say, okay. You he said, you that. keep that. And then he ran to the ring with just the WWE title. Right. Apparently, they're going to rumor. Scrap the belts, and a new belt's going to be made with the new WWE logo on it. The WWE right. Network logo or whatever. Now, WWE.com, they had on their profile page where it lists the champions, right? Yes, yes. Uh, they used to have the champion, you know, John Cena, with both titles yes. um, on there. Yes. Today, they removed the I world title. That. They've know. only got All the right, WWE so they're getting rid of the belts. So it looks like they're getting rid. I Which... Mean, that seemed like confirmation that they were getting rid of. Another now, very subtle note that we need to mention that, they, that, that I haven't heard a lot of people talk about. Right. During the Sheamus Miz match, right. Sheamus is in the battle war for the IC title at Battleground. Which, by the way, Bad News Barrett will be at Battleground. He's going to be at Battleground to present, basically present yeah, the, the winner of the battle royal with the IC title that he used to hold. Right. During the Sheamus Miz match, the announcers were talking about Sheamus wants to win the IC title this Sunday so he can unify, unify it. And Sheamus has been teasing that on Twitter. And as we've of been late. reporting for a couple months that they've been talking about unifying the secondary that titles. Title doesn't mean, and neither of those titles mean anything. The way those guys are here's booked, what they mean business. The way wise. those guys are booked, it, here's what they mean business wise. 
more merchandise to sell. Two right. world titles, a U.S. title, nice. You got four belts right there you can sell. Plus your Replica tag. belts and Plus your everything. tag belts, plus your deep belt. Okay. If they get rid of the big gold belt, Ric Flair's belt, WCW title, World Heavyweight Championship, and they've only got the one WWE title, mm -hmm. and they unify the U.S. IC titles, they're getting rid of essentially two big, large pieces of merchandise. Because really? those really? replica belts are like 50 bucks a pop. Right. right. And you're looking at two different 50 bucks a pop pieces of merchandise that aren't going to be available anymore. That's right. a lot of money lost in merchandise. One more phone call and then right. load up rapid, uh, rapid fire. There's Caller, there. you're live under BZR TV. What's going on? Caller, three, two, one, speak. All right. Rapid fire. All right. Here we go. We're going to get to uh, the uh, rapid fire segment right now. We're going to do these real quick. We only got about 10 minutes left, a little bit less. We've got to get the uh, SmackDown spoilers. Emma returned at the uh, Super this is it? and main event TV teams oh. tonight. Are you sure? Did you post it, dude? That's not rapid fire. That's if I hit refresh. Doing, uh, That's the top post. Oh, I thought you posted it during the break. No. You didn't post Why it? Why the fuck would I post it? We plugged I your I Facebook. I told you before I went in the back. I asked you. I said, do something productive because you were pushing me on the bed all the whole time. I said, did you post fucking Rapid Fire? So we didn't post Rapid Fire? We, you. I, I, when do I ever post Rapid Fire? When in the history of the show so have I... we have no Rapid Fire. When tonight. in the history of the show have I ever posted Rapid Fire? Can you answer me I've asked question? you a couple of times and, and you put it up. I said, did you ask me tonight? File. No, I you did. did. Why no, you did. I went in the bathroom. I said, put the rapid fire up. No, you didn't. Before I went in the bathroom. Oh, my God. It was the same thing earlier oh my today. God. Boone said to me, he said, did you get beer? I said, yeah. I got beer. He says, where is it? He says, is it in the back of the car or the front of the car? I said, it's in the back. He goes outside. He comes back in. And he says, I didn't say it was in the back of the car or the front of the car. I said, is the car parked in the front or the back? You better anyways. get your back out of here. <laughs> so anyways, the car is always parked in the front. There's Why would I post Rapid Fire on your Facebook page when it's your computer and your Facebook? Why would I do because that? Because I asked you to. Did I not ask you? Before I went to the bathroom. You pushed me on the bed a hundred times, which is why I poured beer on you. After I pushed show. him on the bed. God, he sounds like a homo. Oh, uh, I sound like a homo, you were pushing me on your bed. Were you trying to rape me? I don't know, and I wasn't going to stick around and find out, but you pushed me on the bed a hundred fucking times. Put the chat room I said, up, you buddy. motherfucker, Put the guy and then the I poured beer room. on you. But during halfway through the pushes, I said, "Are you, did you do something productive yet? Did you get the rapid fire up? Productive was the exact word I used. You said, yeah, I'm doing it now. Before I went to the bathroom during the commercial break, I said to you, I said to you, can you put up Fuck the guy. rapid fire? You believe this shit? Do you believe that guy? Oh. I said you believe to this you, shit? I said, can you put up the rapid fire as I went into the bathroom? You didn't. Do you want your lighter? Yeah. Oh, there it goes. And there's your cigarette. There it goes. Poop. <laughs> Anyways. What are they going to say on the feedback tonight? Are they going to yeah, say, what a say, train wreck? What a train What's wreck funny this thing is, was. It's going to be blamed on me because I'm drunk. Yeah. But you are equally as fucking piece of shit as... <laughs> piece of shit as... But you are equally as big of a piece of shit. Uh, sucking wise. Yeah. Chat room. I guess we can take questions from the chat room. Yes, or live phone calls. 518-712-307. This is how Boo and I are all the time. We, we, we dick around. All right, so wgronline.com slash chat. Get in there. If you got a question, throw it Any in there. Any questions, we'll take them from the live chat. If you Otherwise, submitted a rapid-fire question, do it in the chat room. Otherwise, call us 518 Oh, wait. 518-712-307. 518-712-307. Teresa says we're cute tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they say that no matter what we do. All right, so what do you guys got in the chat room? We got uh, four minutes left. Any questions, anything like that in the, uh, in the chat room? <laughs> Where does Reigns go from here? From uh, Dan Green 420 in the chat Dan Green 420. Uh, that, that's why I wrote a comment about this, too, and I, we talked about this last week. Like He's in his second straight world title match where he's not going to win. He's not going to lose, technically. Cena's going to retain a battleground, right? He's not going to lose, technically. He's not going to be the one to take the pin. And right. in the latter match, he wasn't the one that didn't get the... You know what I mean? So it's like not like he's losing title matches, but he's not right. winning them either. And he's on the beginning of his solo push away from the shield. I don't think they should be uh, <coughs> having to lose. But 
That's Cena where, retains a battleground, right? Yeah, and then okay. loses to Lesnar, and then Lesnar feuds with Daniel Bryan or, or someone like that. But Reigns on the microphone, he's improving. They're giving him last he's night on getting Raw, better. they gave him a, a short. He's getting better, but they give him sweet, short to the right point. Uh, I agree. Lines. Um, what do we got here? Right, got Boone versus Clark in a WCR tuxedo match. It would be a hat I don't versus. A suit. I had a sport coat for a while, but I moved. And I didn't bring hat it versus me. shaved head match or something like that, right? I'm down. Shave your head. I've yeah, shaved my head like before. Yeah. Crazy but lovable. Oh wow! Here they come. Acer, quick, read his man. giant book. Oh my god! Rapid fire question: Will WWE drop hints of Brock Lesnar during the WWE Battleground? I wouldn't be surprised to uh, Will see. Will he Brock actually appear at Battleground yeah. or the following yeah. night on Raw? Thoughts on that, boys? Uh... There's Following night, the night after Battleground, Brock Lesnar, Miami, Florida. I say good chance. Yeah, yeah. I would, he's going to he's gonna be at SummerSlam, and the night after Battleground, you start your four week, five week. They're going to do Lesnar Cena Battleground or at uh, SummerSlam. Yes, right. So That's they have to start it. Okay, sometime soon. Right. Yeah. Um, what do we got from Tasmania? What role do you see Ric Flair taking up? I reckon he'll. Let me see. He'll end up. In a GM commissioner role, uh, what do you think about that? Rick Take Flair. shitty role or manage Ziggler or Barrett when he's back. There, there was talk of a managing Miz, but doesn't, said it doesn't he, seem like they're going that way. He didn't seem interested in it. He said he wanted to manage Ziggler, He specifically right? requested Ziggler, supposedly. Yeah, That's yeah. what we heard, at least. Uh, Adam Barrett, I haven't heard anything about. Ziggler but, and Flair. Right? Seems right? perfect to me. I mean, oh, I that, that would be just what you need to get Ziggler over the top, I in agree. my opinion. I mean, Flair's going to overshadow whoever he's working with. Right. But if he's only uh-huh. using his energy and, and this and that to put over somebody, and right. it's Ziggler, somebody that the fans already have a connection to, uh-huh. I think that would work. I'd Probably. say Flair, Ziggler, and and you know Heyman with anybody Cesaro. I mean, they're fucking up the Cesaro. Flair with a baby face, Heyman with a heel. They right. can get him up. Yeah. Caller, you're live on WZR TV. What's up? Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Groove Maddox. Uh, I've got a question for you. I had asked you a couple weeks ago about what you thought if the Twitter uh, tweets that go across the bottom of the screen were real or fake. Well, I researched a couple of the usernames, and the times that these guys uh, supposedly tweeted these tweets for what you see appear across the screen, it was not any tweet that these guys had ever tweeted out before. It was probably about three or four people that I checked their Twitter accounts. And some of these weren't even wrestling fans, it looked like. It looked like WWE was just taking random people's Twitter handles and assigning a wrestling tweet to it. Because when I researched it, I found nothing like that. Now, wait a minute. You're talking, about, you're talking about... No, no, no. Oh, you're you're, you're talking about the, the tweets from, from who? From the fans that, that, that they show on Raw? Yes, the fan the tweets that they show on Raw, I would go back to the Twitter handles to see if I could find that tweet, and that tweet would not exist. Some people hadn't even tweeted weeks really? prior to when you would really? see the tweet show up on the screen, as if it was just a fake tweet. Wow, so he's basically saying, on on Monday Night Raw, yeah, you scroll. see the tweets that yeah. go across the bottom. Like CNN and he went back and checked the Twitter accounts of these people oh, that they were saying, it? and they never tweeted. So they're it. just making it up. So they basically. So they're making up fake usernames and fake comments and fake hashtags, ha- hashtags and fake everything. That's what you're saying, right? Yes. Wow. wow. Yeah. A. Hearing that doesn't surprise me at all. Right. Right. But at the same time, it kind of surprises me. Like, what the fuck? Because if you read those tweets, have you ever read them when they go by the screen? Well, they're all praising WWE. It's all goofy shit. Like, oh, I love right, right. The Rock. He's a great wrestler. Hashtag Raw. Like, it's so generic and shit. And I'm like, all right, so they're clearly weeding out the fucking generic, positive tweets. Oh, absolutely. Everything's but he's saying positive. they're making them up. I didn't I didn't know that. I yep. haven't paid attention. I, I, I can't look at the screen a lot because they're right, just play-by-play. Right. Play, but, yeah. Thanks for the call, bro. I appreciate it, man. That's pretty interesting, man. We'll look into uh, that. All right, check it out next time you see it, and uh, let me know what you guys find. All right, will do, man. Thanks, man. Thanks for the call, buddy. I Yo, that's a Tuesday night? That's a Tuesday night, brother. All right. I think it was a good one. I know I was drunk, and it didn't help, but it yeah. didn't, I don't think it hurt. 
I'm gonna put the feedback post up. Or do you wanna do you wanna put the feedback I post up? I put it up, up every week anyway. I put it up every week anyway. No, I'm not gonna put it up on your page. Well, I was gonna say you could do it on my page. Like you, well, you kill some time for me so I can find the fucking intro. I am killing time for you, the man. The outro here, where is? We're it? out of here. You play the same outro every week. Yeah, it's, it's a theme song. Different, dude. It's a TV we show. Get, we have the same opener and the same we closer. We need something different, you know. Throw some something. Here something it is. On. How about this? What do you got for me? Started from the bottom, now we're here. Oh Jesus! <laughs> same thing every week. I found it. All right, we're out of here. Uh, everybody in the chat room that turned out tonight, we love you guys. Michael Garcia, who had the WZR TV or WZR Army sign last week on Raw. The guy, I didn't catch your name, man. I apologize for it, but uh, I know you're been prepared this. with that. He I did a great chat for us. I appreciate it. He might not. I do. I, what's his name? I don't know. I didn't even know he did it. Oh, you didn't know? I'm you busy know writing and working. I can't look at the screen. I you don't know his name. name. The guy's going to Raw next week. Oh, oh, the guy in the sun. No, I don't remember that. Yeah, Thank I you. All right, so he's going to Raw next week in Miami, Florida. He's bringing the WZR Army sign. We're going to give him a free T-shirt for that. Michael Garcia, also, if you are listening, we're going to get you out a, uh, a free T-shirt as well. Email me, webmaster of ProWrestlingScoops.com. I got a T-shirt on the way for you. The guy that's uh, attending Raw next week in Miami, Florida, uh, email me as well. We're going to get you guys a free T-shirt. We'll send them out uh, over the next week or so. So send me an email, webmaster at ProWrestlingScoops.com. WZR Army, we love you guys. Submit some feedback. I'm going to put a feedback post on my page. Boone's going to put it up on his page. Facebook.com slash Matt Boone WZR. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. Winners Flair, it's not going to take two years, Matt. It's not going to take two years. We're out of here. Four! Matt Boone. That's me. <laughs> this is Ryan Clark. Hey, that's him. So you see you next Tuesday night, 8 to 10 Eastern Time, on WZROnline.com.